Hello, good morning. How's it going, everybody? After updating my graphics drivers, we are here. <laughs> we did it. Is everything working properly? We had a bit of a false start and everything should be perfect now. And I just need to go and delete. Wait, it didn't even make a stream VOD. Oh, no, no, there it is. All right, get out of here. Hello. All right. You want to play some video games? You ready to chill and party like rock stars? Uh, really quick, I don't know how far I got in everything before the tech issues. Exosa, thank you for the prime. Dalvin, thank you for the 42. And Andy Kazi, thank you for the 56. Oh, good morning, friends. Let's go back to the spoopy world of Pacific Drive. A gentle reminder. I might get jump scared by a leaf. So uh, get your hoodie and uh, get ready for a good time. How's everyone doing today? I'm good. You know, I'm chilling. I'm partying like a rock star. I'm only medium tired. Uh, I think I streamed for somewhere between 11 and 12 hours yesterday. All right. Nice. Okay. We have fixed the issue. Um, when I launched this game last time, every time I went around the corner, there was a lighting issue from this that caused giant wild streaks of light to go everywhere. <laughs> and uh, yeah. We had to reinstall our drivers to make that work. A sensible one. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the 14. Now, real quick. Behold our noble steed. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this bad boy. Bam. Steel panels. As far as the eye can see. It's beautiful. <laughs> Visit the friendly dumpster. Don't mind if I do. Whoop. Omnom. Omnom, I say. That's fine. Did I steal those panels? No. Do I do I look like a burgle to you? No burgle. All right, real quick. Check the inventory. Uh, we're looking good there. You know what? I'm actually going to throw this. Uh, never mind. Wait. Nope. I found room. I found room. I do need to upgrade that storage space. Give me a second here. Expanded locker requires one additional steel sheet. Uh, can I? Oh, and it also requires more st stable energinium. Okay. So what do you think? You want to do a side mission or you want to do some MSQ? Tell me if you want to do a warm up mission or MSQ chat. I'll follow. I'll follow your thoughts here. Been looking forward to this since yesterday afternoon. That's very flat, very, very flattering. Warm up, warm up. Okay. Do a little grindy grind. Love it. All right. You know where we haven't been? We haven't been here. You trying to figure out how to pay me a visit? Don't bother. By regular standards, I'm about 10 miles west of you. In zone terms, consider me on another planet. There's a valley of perpetual instability in closing my corner of the zone. And yes, I chose to live here for that exact reason. Leave an old woman in peace. Oh, OP. All right, everybody. Let's go. As always, please let me know how the video, how the sound is, all that fun stuff. foggy day. It's a foggy, spoopy day. Hey, good morning, Jesse. All right. Road tripping. I have neither snacks nor supplies, though. All right. Road trip question of the day. What is your favorite road trip album? All right, what are we looking here? Uh, we want to stop there, and then we want to go here. Please turn around. You want snacks? One of my favorite, favorite road trip albums 
is uh, This Is It by The Strokes. Incredible album. Skirt. I want to get over there. I'm just looking around. Making sure there's no... Game is actually feeling a little jumpy right now. I'm hoping it's just warming up. Is that feeling a little smoother? Oh, I don't have a lock picking kit. So I can't actually get into there. Yeah, it's feeling a little... Give me a second here. So it was working great yesterday, and then we updated our drivers. So there's a little, just a little something something on here right now that I need to knock down one. Turn down mirror settings. I was kind of hoping to use the mirrors. Mirror resolution. I think that's fine because we're not even using the mirrors right now, right? Mirror distant shadows. Let's turn these off. Let's see how that goes. All right, that's feeling way better. Yeah. That's the ticket, eh? Okay, this is steel. I want steel panels. Okay, that was a little, a little chunky for just a second there. Again, let's give the car a second to warm up. Car. <laughs> Other other banger albums, big fan. Uh, Californication, as well as uh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, also amazing road trip albums. Big fan. All right, we're gonna stop over here and grab that beam of light. And you know what I just realized would be really good and also really bad at the same time is if I was playing this game with headphones on. Oh, man, what an incredible mistake that would be. Okay, game is still a little stuttery. I just want this game to be buttery smooth. Morning, Jackie. You road trip to the original cast recording of Hamilton. I've only listened to that full recording once, and that was also on a road trip hilariously. Uh, our first exposure to... Turn shaders down. Our first exposure to Hamilton was actually going to PAX West one year. Uh, we road tripped with Ian and Corey, and they played the entirety of Hamilton as we drove. Um, what in the world? What is that? I don't know, but I don't like it. Uh, let's go this way, uphill.
Nope. Oh, right. Uh, do I have the light thingy? Another paranormal encounter thingy. Okay, hold on. At one point, I had a special little tool that was good for pulling out light bulb. I think I died and lost it. Right? The hand vac, yeah. Car looks scrappy. Ooh. Obey stop signs. Fine. Don't mind that. I think I need to fix my suspension or something. Look at look at how we are right now. Maybe it's those those um those tires. Those off-road tires. Oh, there's little robots. We gotta follow this road for a while. Ooh, that looks like steel. Good. A little safety check here. Feeling safe. I'm going to get uh, steel panels in particular. Any steel in this car? Did I go like 0 for 5 there? I got another dumpster pearl. I don't know how. Hey, good morning, Suno. How goes the road trip? Good. You know, it's just nice to be back in the Pacific Northwest, eh? Pardon me. It's very important while driving through the Pacific Northwest to always keep your eyes out for wildlife. You see how I managed to avoid that family of saw blades crossing the road? That's practice. And remember, they very rarely travel alone. So if you see one cross the road, you should slow down and anticipate that they might have friends. Uh, that looks scrappy. Ooh, that's good stuff. There's a robot there, so I gotta go pretty fast here. Hey, look, more lore. 
Sheesh. Okay, 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 okay. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Okay, this is roughly where we wanted to stop. Now, when we get to houses, we sometimes need to worry about friends. So there's a gas station there. There's a house there. Hello? Anybody see any tourists? Bravery activate. Okay. <laughs> Public health notice. Are they the locals and we're the tourists? Look, it's all a matter of perspective, right? We fill up on the left side here. Is this good or bad? Oh, it's good! Full service stop. Oh. God, was it a mimic? I honest, I thought for a second it might be, you know? That's so cool. All right, we found a new friend. You love to see it. Feeling pretty safe in here. All right, let's use this as an opportunity to figure out our next destination. Okay, so we hit this building and that house. Probably the next thing we wanted. Is that spreading? That might be spreading. That is absolutely spreading. We're getting out of here. It's a moving storm. It freaked me out. All right. I don't like it. We're just going to dip. I'm not going to off-road. We're going to follow the road. Look, we got some stuff. We got our warm-up run done. We got some steel. I mean, we could have maybe grabbed one more, like, orb thing. Don't like that. I could full send. You know what? Let's just send. Let's go. Hey! All right. Look at that. We lived through one, everybody. Not bad, newbie. 
All right. We didn't get a lot. We didn't get a lot, but we also didn't get nothing. Like, look at this. That's a good haul. That's a respectable haul. Ooh, we're full. All right, but now that we have the steel and this other weird dumpster pearl, we can start upgrading some stuff. All right, I know chat was itching to teach me the other day. What does a dumpster pearl do? And what am I supposed to do with it? Shred it. Like that shred? What does it do? It has goodies inside of it. Oh, look at this. Wait, does that mean I now have to put things in two different inventories? Whatever, I guess it really doesn't matter. It's a loot pinata? Interesting. Give me a second. All right, I have two fax machines here. Open inventory. Uh, we got this one, Anomaly Encounters 1, and Lab Report 4. Okay. And now over here... Oh, right. Okay, so because because it's it has a durability, uh, I, I might have to refill. Okay, I understand everything. All right, shred it. Let's see what we get. Hello? <gasps> Steel. Pressurized cartridges. Okay. Some bulbs. Sure. a lot of steel that's a lot of steel wow all right so what do we actually get out of this road flare i got a new paint oh a repair putty uh 10 steel and a light bulb holy moly Fax machines are great. I read them before. I read them at the end of last stream. Look, there's only so much time for so much lore. We'll do a, we'll do a lore recap at one point. But yeah, if you stop and read everything, it takes forever to get anywhere in a game, you know? All right. Visit the friendly dumpster. Oh, hello, friendly dumpster. How do you do? What do you got for me today? Anything else? Two chemicals is enough for a repair putty. I feel like the friendly dumpster is um, more friendly after you die. More steel. It's more of a pity dumpster, yeah. Is that dumpster a mimic? It could be. What if we're the mimic? You ever think about that? What if we were the monster? Dang, look at that. Look at all this extra space. So much room for activity. No rain. Bad. Fuel tank, 96. Tend to my wounds. When did I get hurt? Well, obviously something touched me. All right, let's take a look at our upgrade tree. Probably stood in a little bit of radiation. Oh, only as a treat. 
I can also further expand my locker. It's just going to take one full energy doohickey. I mean, you know what? That's fine. Let's do the let's do the MSQ. Let's do the MSQ and let's see how many orbs we get out of it. You know, that'll be good. Um, let's check on our sitch here. Do I have the the vac unlocked or no? See if I can unlock that actually. Hand vac. Ah, uh, I'm off by 0.1 stable energy. Interesting. Does MSQ stand for main story? Yes. Uh, do I want to use putty right now? Hey, y'all, how do I split a stack? It's not control click, it's not shift click, it's not alt click. Um, but if I drop one and then I pick it up, that can't be right. Also, now I can't touch it. You d a game doesn't have a split? Okay. Middle mouse button? No. That, that'd be very weird if that was the case. There doesn't really need for one. If you die, you lose the stuff that you're carrying. So I'd like to leave half of my flares behind. I don't need to carry 19 flares with me and then lose them all. So I would argue that there is a, re a reason to split. Disagree. Don't like that. That's all right. All right, let's get a backup scrapper. Oh, I had one. I'm very prepared. Two backup scrappers. Um, my pry bar is fine. My impact hammer is fine. I don't need to have two on me. That's just a waste of storage space. Put this in here. That's full. Uh, put it in here. <laughs> um, good stuff. All right. So I could repair like an panel and I don't think I'm going to worry about it. If you have a box of storage, a shift right click should move one. Oh, no, right click just equips it and I have a storage box open. So uh, right click, even shift right click, uh, just put it in my hand. It's okay. All right, where are we going? Uh, story wants me to go here. Stabilizing a way through. So that's all. That's where the last quest was. The ever conditioning changes, the ever changing conditions in the zone can dramatically alter both the environment and the many things you encounter out there. Be sure to plan ahead. Uh, stable anchor, junction stability. Getting a little spooked. Oh, right, that did move. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Because before, that was pretty firmly... I think it was on these two. Huh. All right. Uh, time for big drive, everybody. Strange that the game doesn't have a split. Yeah, I, I consider split to be one of the essential buttons for any, any survival game.
that was weird. <laughs> Go back to Serum. So do I always have to like jump through something first? I do, I have to go this way, okay. Really liking the vibe of our multicolored car, our noble steed, isn't it beautiful? Where are we? We're there. So I kind of want to go here, grab all of this, and then maybe dip, maybe stop by the farmhouse on the way out. We'll see. I don't want to spend too much time here. Hey, good morning, Suffix. We should add more colors to our unpainted panels. I'm just going with what the panels give us. I'm letting the car speak for itself. You know how Michelangelo would look at a piece of marble and think he's, he's like, I think I see an elbow and would let would let that speak for itself. That's us, but with our car. We have not touched our car with paint. Instead, our car has painted itself. Jeez. We're a little bit of a performance hit there. When you craft a panel, it's unpainted. The ones I paint, I uncrafted were black. So are you considering black to be unpainted? Car just looks scrappy. Ooh, what do we have here? Check the trunk real quick. More flares. It's snowing. Is this an import? Good morning, Jim. How you doing, friend? All right, check for friends. What is that?
Nothing. Oh, I don't like this fog. I don't like it. There could be things hiding in the shadows. Grab this orb. Make a break for it. Check the navigation here. Wait, it says we don't need to take a, a little jumpy jump out of here, you know? Alright, there's some houses just around the corner. Check for trains. Oh, there's a house right there. Isn't this beautiful? I like to think it's all American. <laughs> Is this survival horror? It's not jump scare. It's supernatural. Uh, it just so happens we're in the Pacific Northwest and today is a big foggy day. It's only jump scare because I'm playing and I get jump scared. <laughs> like there's nothing, well, yeah. Like yesterday, the thing that scared me the most, uh, <laughs> the thing that scared me the most was a leaf. I got jump scared by a tree branch and I screamed. Like I full on like Rah! screamed. Okay, the fog and light makes it harder to see, not easier. Let's eat some uh, survival rations over here. I get no steel from all of that. None steel. Are there scary aspects of this game? Again, it's it's atmospheric. It is um it is supernatural, but at no point is there ever like, hing, 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 hing. you know, you know what I mean? That's my, that's my uh, descriptive term. Okay, let's head, let's head this way.
Ow, I dodged that. Totally dodged that. yellow light on the outside here. It's probably nothing. Uh, hey, y'all. What's that? I think I remember one of these before. It was like a speed boost that we used, remember? When we went, when we full sended. The glittering, bo okay, the glittering boulder. I thought people told me that if I... Oh, you hold tab. Transmission fragment. Fragment. Hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast. Oh, no. It's happening again. Just out collecting some data from the weather station. And oh, no. There are these new things out there that, oh, help. If you touch them, you go, woo, hold on, Charlie. Look, I'm not an engineer or a physicist. I'm a meteorologist, but my guess is these things are discharging huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch. And when they hit a car, you go totally fast. Hold on, Charlie. Okay, so if you want a full send. Got it. You oh, you think their keyboard is broken? You think everything I said there was a little bit exaggerated? Interesting. Jump time? That's going the wrong way. What happens if I touch one? I think other people can be scientists. Why don't you touch it and report back and let me know? There's another launch orb right there on that truck. Love it. So there's a crossroad up ahead. If we go to the right, uh, we get some buildings, but again, this is part one of two for our journey. So I think we'll just keep going unless we see, and unless we see like high value loot stuff like those uh, blue boxes or a truck, I think we'll just keep cooking. Why did I think there was no stream today? Friday's my day off. Singular. Today is not Friday. It might be for you. I don't know how far in the future you are. Dresser. So this is the crossroad I was talking about. Thought it was move related stuff? Monday. Next Monday is going to be my last stream before the move. And then hopefully the first stream after that is April 1st. If you're ever curious, I've got full updates in the Discord. I try and, uh, try and give as much heads up as possible there. That is the, the final and last source for any schedule changes. Otherwise, assume the schedule has never changed. Whale noises. Love whale noises.
Storm seems to be getting closer. Siren. No, we're in the Pacific Northwest. You can hear the whales all the time. It's okay. I speak whale. You pick it up if you live on an island long enough. All right, is there a quest here? There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Oh, like stuff. another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built Lim story. stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Then technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Morda have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Oh, it's down and to the left. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit this orb, hit this building, and then double back. Glad we have these off-road tires, eh? Fuel up every chance you get. You never know when you're going to need it. Nope. Wrong button. I have on more than one occasion... Panicked and turned my car off when I was trying to put it in the drive. That's like a ways into the woods there, isn't it? Go straight this way. We should find a yellow thingy. Hello? There it is. Tourists. I keep getting yeeted. Stop yeet. No yeet. The mini map is part of the car. You miss like this. It's kind of neat, actually. But yeah, yeah, you have to check stuff. I mean, it's very interesting uh, because you have to, for example, you have to like hit down and put the car into drive. You don't have to change from like uh, drive to reverse, but like if you want to turn on the ignition of the car, you got to like hit the key switch. So it's kind of nice. It's kind of visceral. Um, okay, so there are tourists like right there. Maybe I can get to this town and nothing bad will happen to me.
All right, game let me start my car while I was in drive. That's a fail. Realism, my immersion is gone. Okay, we're going to leave the car running. First things first, check for danger. I think we're clear. Smash the state. Hey, y'all, there was like a super important upgrade that I needed for my backpack. Where do I, where do I loot those from? People are like, oh, those are going to be hard. Is it from like a specific kind of building or something? Where do I get those? What's this? A flare gun. That's kind of cool. That's extremely cool, actually. What material am I asking about? The weird, like, three-star one. I don't know. I need five of them for the backpack upgrade. You know, you know. Oh, the fog came in. Please be more specific. Ah, it doesn't matter. I can't be more specific. I don't remember what it's called. I don't have any on me. People are like begging me yesterday. They're like, let me tell you how to find it. It's hard. And I was like, no. Let me ask. Now nobody remembers. It's fine. It's not the gas cylinder. No. I'm being too pacific with my instructions. That's fair. It's not chemicals, no. It was a fancy one. Thermosap, yes. See? I knew you'd get there. Is the game any less spoopy today? Well, I haven't been jump scared by a branch yet. I have to make a thermosap collector? Wait, they come from tourists? How'd I get the first one? What is all this stuff for? Do you craft? Yeah, this is a survival crafter. Much like Raft and other games like that. So you grab stuff, you upgrade tools, you upgrade your car. So our car started off like basically made of scraps. Um, and, I've, and I've since upgraded it so it's made out of steel and exactly all that stuff. And then we use it to upgrade our base. It's, it's a very similar sort of um, build play pattern, right? Raft is a great comparison point. Yeah. 
Chief, did you hear the next game on nine o'clock is going to be Raft? Are you hype? No Kevins, that's fair. Ooh, lore. I want to take my second right. Did you throw that away? I sure did. I had like one hit of durability left. And so I uh, I tossed it. It's okay. It's biodegradable. In that the zone will biodegrade anything away. Okay, not this turn. My next right. Next right. Yeah, so you can see um, number two, my crowbar, has like 30% durability. This pressure cannon thing is at like 20%. I had a spare one in the car, so I got rid of the old one. So that I uh, didn't have to carry two on me. It's a two by three. It takes up a ton of inventory space. Oh. You turn gears into something. Into pressure canisters. I'm glad people in chat recognize what these things are, because I sure don't. Oh. Okay, we just follow this road. We want to take the next right. That's good stuff. Ooh, more lore. Theories, number two. everybody tourists the towers are locked up tight but you can tighten up security protocols all day only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up anyway the overload code is 4735 find that stabilizer map and scan it for me 
I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. Everybody ready to be brave? Oh, I just hold E. Just simply hold E to E. I did a scan around the exterior. There's no trees. Turn a crowbar into a, a, a paperweight. Good. Stabilizer map. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. I'm overlaying the map with available routes for you. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. They're getting closer, and I don't like it. So you're telling me I could get it from tourists? How? How do I get it from tourists? Kill them? What do you mean kill them? Oh, I just keep driving out. I'm going to be so brave. Please hold. Where did they go? Oh my god, where are they? I hate this. I hate that I don't know where they went, y'all. So you're telling me there's potentially dead tourists somewhere? I'm out. I'm too brave for this. Gotta go. Now that we know that they can bleed. Uh, so what am I doing? I'm trying to get out of here. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our first left and we want to go down here. How am I doing? I'm at uh, three quarters of a tank of gas. All right. Now that I know they can bleed, they're only uh, nine out of ten terrifying. And supposedly there's a trail to the left here pretty quick. Right about here. Right about here. It's supposed to be a way down this mountain. 
You know, I don't think that's car safe. <laughs> Let's change our route here slightly. I think that's a tunnel, but a tunnel doesn't have an entrance. Exit, that's fair. Skirt! I didn't quite skid as, as dramatically as I was hoping I would there. Alright, let's take this bad boy off road. Should be a road here. Oh, geez. Oh, Lord. <laughs> ah! It's fine. Man, these off road tires. Let's go. Ow. Check real quick here in the mirror. Is that one open? It is not. Okay. All right, it's looting time, everybody. So much loot to be had here. Love the hood ornament. We got a hood ornament. We've got a uh, mirror freshener. We got a little ornament there. We got our stickers. We got the swagon. The ally flag. I'm already 100% health. Bye forever. It fell through the bed. Therefore, it's dead to us. <laughs> Spent too long sitting in front of the computer yesterday. My legs are sore. Probably, probably, possibly even extra sore from all the spoops, you know? Ugh. Got all that, all that fear tension in my body. Smash the state. Game is great for forgetting the passage of time. It's a very good game. I don't know if I really want to smash any more electronics here. I don't know. I don't feel like that's what I'm missing. I'm trying to find cool components like plastic and stuff. Or not uh, chemicals, not plastic, pardon me. 
Have I considered getting a standing desk? They're expensive. Also, uh, I didn't really want to get anything while I was in Alberta, you know? I just have to move it back with me. But I don't know. Sit stand is interesting. I mean, I know Amy has one. And it's probably treated her pretty well. And it's definitely better for you than just, you know, sitting the whole time. This is the good stuff right here. Ooh, an entire light bulb. Why is it so big? The runs themselves can take a long time on top of the loop, can make you lose track of time. Yeah. I may have accidentally, not just between two games yesterday, streamed almost 12 hours yesterday. <laughs> so... Might be, might be my fault that I'm sore, you know, just saying. I acknowledge that I am not blameless. Time is fake? Oh, okay, thank you, Milk. Wait, when do I move back then? Am I ever moving back? You move back later? Serge, you move to Calgary tomorrow. What? Hello? Serge, you're late for your driving shift. What? But that's impossible. Okay. Okay. I'm happy. I'm vibing. I'm in my lane. Uh, we're going to top up. There's a, there's a gas in there. Nice. Serge, wake up. It's June 14th, 1998. What happened June 14th, 1998, Milk? Why is that date significant? Significant. No idea random. Nothing is truly random. Tell me. You have a math test. Now I know you're lying. My math is perfect. It's never been tested. Joke's on you. I don't do math. All right. Let's take a look at what we want to do from here. So it wants us to leave. And you know what? I agree. So we're going to turn around. We're going to take this road all the way out of town. Oh, there's a gas station on the way. Let's stop there. Wait, was that the date that Michael Jordan played his last game for the Chicago Bulls? I can't believe that. Hold on one second. All right, get your hands in the air. Woo! Sick. Ah. <laughs> uh... Wait, box truck? Where? Box truck. But it's closer to the weird thing. Fresh scrapper, bad condition, crude bumper. Ooh, the potato cup.
All right, we're starting to get pretty full up here. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine and we're brave. We're fine and we are brave. Bravest streamer, PNW. Okay, there should be a gas station here. Car safety, remember? Turn off the ignition when you fill up. drop plastic. Oh, they still freak me out! It was in here with us. It was in here with us. And we didn't even know. Oh, there's more over there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Did it. I took out four of them. Oh, I'm so proud of me. I'm so proud of me. Oh, man. Have I thought that I'm the tourist? It never crossed my mind, no. Been in the Pacific Northwest 20 years. All right. Have some respect. Is it less scary now? No. The hood is still up. All right, you ready to get some sick air? Ready? There's a, uh, oh, what's that? Hold on. We'll get sick air in just a second. Please hold. Wow. Look at me stopping to pick up litter. All right, full send.
Wait, I thought there was a turbo orb here. Whatever. Woo! This is probably fine. It's funny, we updated my um, my drivers for this game. And I feel like it's performing slightly worse than before the update. Yesterday we didn't have any issues, and today I had to turn down a couple of the graphical settings. I don't know. Computer needs another d dustin that's for sure. But uh, I think... It's about time for an upgrade. We'll see. We'll get back to Victoria. <laughs> we'll settle with all my taxes and we'll take a look at it. Updates don't always lead to better performance. Why? Why bother updating then? Computers are magic. That at least is true, Milk. The Matter Deconstructor. Yep. All right, what am I doing here? Perpetual stability. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hot, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. This is a long road trip, by the way. What's the matter, Deconstructor, with you? <laughs> Such a dumb joke. <laughs> Should not make me laugh. Wow. It's my turn to give you an explanation about the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. No. The surge was an impossible oh. amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. Widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. That's good or bad? I want to go to the right here. Is this a road? Ish? It's a road ish. Road adjacent. Oh, yo, this car is pink! What are you made out of? Why are you pink? Why are you so cool? You're made of steel. Interesting. I wish we had the ability to rip parts off. I would definitely upgrade into some pink parts there, you know? Gamma rays. Did the Hulk teach us nothing? No kidding. Dr. Banner, pelted by gamma rays, turns into the Hulk. I don't remember the rest of the song. But that, that was pretty important. Are you friend? Are you good bunny or bad bunny? Well, either way, goodbye. Come on. Bunny. Bun bun. Wait, what's a bolt bunny? I don't think we can describe intelligence because the behavior seems both reactive and entirely independent. There's no evidence of judgment or consideration. There's no sign of any social group dynamics, okay? 
I surmise that it is, in essence, purely instinctual. To this end, I recommend we ditch the moniker Bunny. What we see here is barely even a base instinct. Okay, it is brainless. It is mindless. We cannot give them animal names. We must stop calling them bunnies. That one looks like it would damage my car. The green bunny, good. Red bunny, bad. Blue bunny is, well, blue. Lead shielding. Private fields unknown. This is ridiculous. We have transformed from a team of skilled scientists into day trippers with test tubes and sample kits. We must set up everything on site. We haul out equipment, computers, materials. We have these dreadful mobile laboratory trucks that are so generic in design, they end up helping nobody do their work. The latest fieldwork solution is apparently to have us erect giant walls of lead behind which we are supposed to perform direct observations of the latest anomalies. We must rush out in response to these latest sightings, build these things like we would a snow fort in the winter, and hope to get enough readings and data before another EMP shorts everything. It's ridiculous. We don't even have equipment capable of helping us move and deploy all this other equipment. And, of course, setup takes so long that whatever we hope to catch is often long gone. That or has taken far too much of an interest in us or anyone else to be able to work safely. Interesting. I scrap it. Lead? It gave me scrap metal. Let's see if I get anything cool from it. <gasps> Lead! Ooh. Lead. Delicious and nutritious lead. I, I tried to say English there, but I failed. All right, let's eat a little something something. That was a weird autocorrect Gualdar. <laughs> uh, do I want to take apart the receiver? Probably. I mean, do I? It gives you what? Scrap metal and electronics. All right, let's head on in. Let's head on in. What's up, Andre? Whoop. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel sure when I was free falling through outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of satin sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And, uh, what about you, Afi? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. Oh. Were you working in your lab that night? And She's lying. She's lying. Rather than keeping track of Let me my try and go off-road off here. <laughs> okay. Wow, touchy. Good morning, Heron. Uh, one sec. Let's scout this out first. You know what? That's that's manageable. We go down, and then we hang a right at the next road. A gift. 
Wow. That wasn't suspicious at all. Where did it come from? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. That's what I've learned. terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You, you said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. I'm not saying it was aliens. But it's aliens. <laughs> oh, heck, tapped into some sort of gamma ray reservoir. A reservoir? Or a portal? To where exactly? To Atlantis. Oh my. Okay. Now why didn't I think of that? How long have they been alone? Absolutely it. They've been out in the woods too long. You see my little bob my little bobble car, by the way. That's a lot of lift in the earth there. There's some weird radiation noises going on around here. Is my car electrocuted? Like, what's happening here? Is this a problem? Charged. Fix none. Am I slowly dying? It's probably nothing. All right, let's just get moving and get out of here. Hey, Oppie, you've never cared about any of the zone's stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. You're wow. asking us to trust you. So, yes, it's our business now. How about this? You two sign off and count orbs or whatever it is you like to do. And I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. We're going to go off-road here. No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Starting to feel like we uh, might not want to trust OP over here. We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You want to play that game? You really want to talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppie. Wow. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. I forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old bat. There's got to be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I... Look, if you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I we're better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. This really is my last chance. Uh, that seemed intense. I decided to just follow the road. The topography is kind of weird. So. Really kind of feels like uh, there's no good. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Stop. 
Stop it. Ow, my poor car. I want gas. Getting down to like a half tank here, which is low enough to worry me. What is happening now? Nothing. Never seen a game with such a beautiful daytime scenery. This game is very pretty. All right, where am I going here? I'm going this way under the pipes. A lot of dead trees over here. Neat. Okay, how do I get up there? I don't want to just off-road it. Hold on, let's, let's make a plan here. Let's make a plan. So I can go right here and then up and around. Sure. So, do you feel like the other two have given up? kind of lost it a little and then the only way that OP has kind of held it together is being too intense a full send full send yeah <laughs> alright full send didn't feel quite worth it it almost threw us into a tree front of our car is quite beat up scope a landing before you full send that's coward talk I scope the landing while I'm in the air I become one with the landing so I'm going to want to take a left and then another left here Okay. There should be a road here. Nice. And we're looking for another road pretty quickly up and to the left. Get out of here, blue bunny. This is a long mission, y'all. All right. We're in business. The stabilizers are 
coming online, and the way looks clear, but I'm also getting spikes. The stability in your region is tanking. Get out of there. Fast. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Take a left onto the main road when we get down to the hill. Take a right onto the next road. Head towards the beam of light. Yo! Should be a road coming up. On I missed the turnoff. Off-road time. Nope, there's the road. There's the road. There's the road. All right, let's go. Whew. All right, GG, everybody. Into the giant, perfectly safe beam of light. Came out of this with 4.3 stabilium. Nice work out there. The sector <clears throat> stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. Yo! Oh, spooky. That was a big mission. That was a big mission. Pardon me. Um. Why is it not bringing up my... Am I parked in the wrong spot? Where's my... Where's my car report? You got two terabyte SSDs installed? Oh, jelly. Jelly crooked penguin. All right, well, I mean, let's hit it with the battery. Let's hit it with the gas. Let's uh, talk to the dumpster. You know a game that was a shockingly enormous download was... Um, Starfield, that was huge. Ooh, what's this? First aid kit. Ooh, repair putty. Thank you, dumpster. There we go. 
I think you're good to go by the driver's checklist, so there's no prompt to open it. But I I like it when it was on the left, you know? I, I like that prompt. I miss it. I'm a creature of habit. And they've taken it from me. Alright, I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff it can't even fit in one thing anymore. All right. Is there a beeping in the stream? There's a beeping somewhere in the room that I'm at. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. All right. Need a circuit board. And then I could craft the improved antenna. Integrated thermosap heat sinks. Okay. Allow this antenna to be activated multiple times before overheating. I don't know what that does, but it's probably good. Advanced workbench. Requires unstable energy. Okay. I don't have that yet. So if I craft one circuit board, I can then craft this. Uh, what if I go this way instead? Expanded locker, yes. As well as the, let's get the expanded locker again. Let's get both of these. All right, so in order to do that, I do this. All right, I wanted to get some more tools as well. Sorry, give me a second here. We'll grab everything. Um, is this another locker just right here? All right, I'm guessing I don't really have to worry about ever running out of space because, yeah, it's a lot of storage. I also wanted to get the incredible hand vac. Oh, can I upgrade my car storage? Unlock a side rack. Okay. Hey. More putty. Say no to crude. Um, yeah, something's wrong there. I think we got a little bit of a buggy bug in the system right now. All right. Uh, let's get a trunk in a trunk. Seems kind of exciting to me. Side storage. How do I craft side storage? Oh, it was right there. Side storage. That's actually kind of cheap. Inventory reinvented. A little extra trunk space has never hurt anyone. And there's no reason that space has to actually be in the trunk. Guaranteed zone proof for at least 10 minutes. Wow. 10 minutes. All right. How much space does this give us? You know what? It's not nothing. That's where my spare scrapper is going to go. And spare flares. Huh? Okay. Uh, 
what else do I have? I have access to 2.2. Let's do, let's do this. Get a circuit board and let's upgrade our antenna, which I'm sure is going to be important at some point. But you know, what do I need for the Liberator? Right. Oh, it's the Liberator needs the uh, Thermosap crystals. Uh, what about the medium backpack? Did I, am I, did I already upgrade my backpack? Is that bigger? It's probably bigger. Anyways, let's make this circuit. I did already? Okay. So maybe, I must be thinking about the Liberator is why I need to farm the, uh, the Thermosap. All right, tower, become upgraded. Ooh. It's a big tower. We Minecraft in now. All right, so at this point, I have spent everything but 0.7. Armored panels. Scan a belching barnacle, okay. Insulated panel. Gives us electrical resistance. Some lessons learned from ARDA research. A little traditional conduction there. The result, a cage that will conduct and dissipate a substantial amount of electrical energy away from the vehicle. Neat. Insulated door. Okay, I can't learn any of this because I don't have enough stuff. I don't have enough goo. Can the engine be upgraded? We get a turbo light energy, or pardon me, turbo light engine. Health 500, 14 miles per gallon, 196 horsepower. So it's less fuel efficient, but it's got 50% more horsepower. That's kind of cool. I don't have the energy for it. Let's maybe look at our fuel efficiency. What's this? Oh, it's a side fuel tank. Not enough room inside your car for gasoline. Wait, what's this? Large fuel can. Oh, it's just upgrading the fuel can, I guess. Taller, deeper, wider, this container has much more capacity than your previous fuel can. Oh, it doesn't go there. I carry two of them now. Oh, interesting. This is so much fuel. Uh, I should probably upgrade my hammer. And by upgrade, I mean replace uh, the impact hammer. Pardon me. Yeet. I think this quest marker is just broken. Breaking your heart, wasting the hammer. I had like three uses on it. What are you going to You're going to use every single use and then have to carry a second one in your inventory? Nah. Ugh. Could I have destroyed it for materials? It's gone forever. Uh, the repair thing only works for car parts. It doesn't work for tools. At least that's what the tool tip says. 
You always use your tools until you until they broke? Must be nice having infinite backpack space. I, for one, don't like to carry garbage. All right, I should probably repair my car a little. Uh, that could use a little bit of the goo. I could use, yeah, we could do a little, a little, a little goo pass here, eh? Wait, which ones are yellow? The hood is definitely yellow. Uh, the bumper, the bumper is yellow. The right panel here needs a little bit of love. Well, goodbye. All right, I guess I have a couple things to repair. We'll hit this. We'll hit the headlights. Very nice. Wait, I have quirks? What do you mean I have quirks? What do you mean I have quirks? So the only thing that we know is weird is our front left tire has a tendency to deflate and we don't always know why. It's because air is leaving the tire. I, you know what? You're not wrong. Okay, this is going to be our repair kit central here. All right, anything happens, it goes in there. Did I make a hand vac? Um, no. I have a hand vac now. Quirks can sometimes be good. I just don't know what it is. I don't know anything about it. All right, find a way through the wall. So I upgraded my tower. I can see further. Ah, find a way to the wall. So we need to do a little bit of science and exploration towards here. We're going there. Ding! Y'all ready for a little adventure? How much more putty can I make? How much? I don't like that my car is not at 100%. Oh, you know what I can do? This is so cheeky. You know what I can do? One, two, three, four. Let's make, uh, let's make two steel doors. And two steel panels. One steel panel, great. See what I'm doing here? We're not going to use putty. We're just going to do extra doors. <laughs> and we'll put these in the auto magic repairo chamber. And look at the stuff I'm on encounter there. Sure didn't. We'll figure it out when we get there. Steel panel, steel door. Steel panel. Take this one off. What do you mean he's learning? We did this before. Wait, no, nope, wrong way. There we go. There we go. So I don't have a ton left, but that's okay. 
Bumpers are looking good. Overall condition of the car is looking better. You can probably strip those strip those doors off the car outside rather than I don't have the tool to take things off. I have to just completely destroy them. Speaking of which, do I want all the resources here? Are you your steel? I could get some more steel panels. It's not nothing. Sure, let's grab everything here. I feel like I have enough resources now that I'm I like don't want to gather more if that makes sense. I don't know. Does that seem weird to y'all? Or do your natural hoarders start kicking in and you're like, I must have more of everything. We're going to get to a resource that's going to be like, uh, you need 800 scrap metal. You should have scrapped every single card you've ever seen. You're like, no. can't believe I've been punished. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, I do understand that number go up is like peak gaming, right? I mean, I guess y'all are also the type of, you're like use every single durability from something. You're like, okay, look, I know what my time is worth. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Exhausting. You had 1500 scrap for a while. I see, I think that's too much. I think you have a problem. You feel like you're getting condescended to? Look, chat backseats and I condescend. It's, it's, it's the natural way of the world, all right? You try and tell me how to play the game and I get passive aggressive about it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I've been doing this for six years. It, the, it hasn't changed at any point. Ah. <laughs> uh... Let's get a new crowbar while we're at it, too. There's a triangle backseating condescension sass. I like it. Where would I put that extra crowbar? Guess I don't have one. I had an extra scrapper there, too. Neat. I think I've got an extra one in the car. Check just to make sure. Oh, I don't. Wait, you know what I do have though? These. I don't know what this flare gun is for. I'll put it in the toolbox. All right, I should make another crowbar. Are we there yet? Oh my God, I will turn this car around so fast. Two spare crowbars for the car. Nice. See? Now we're cooking. If you don't want us to backseat, you shouldn't play a game where we're literally driving. Oh, nobody's commented on my driving though, Gunner. I wish it was that simple. Surge, chat keeps poking me. I will drive this car off the next sea cliff I find. I swear to God. I will throw all of us into the ocean. <laughs> then what will you do? five dollars to drive off a sea cliff is that all my time is worth to you wow <laughs> scuba thank you for that ten dollar dono move back road trip coffee that's very sweet thank you so much i really appreciate that friend joe 
Cold brews on scuba. Hello, Mr. Gibberish. All right, uh, we are going this way. Gotta head through. Are these uh, freeways? Would you say that the E7 is like a highway? What does that What does that mean? Explain your highway system to me, Americans. Those are just zone destinations. Oh, this is just nonsense. Okay, hold on. Hi, cutie. All right, where am I? Oh, I'm here, and I want to go there. Uh, so let's stop here and steal this orb. So here's what we're going to do. Orb, and then we're going to skirt orb, and then we're going to dip. Oh, it's pouring. Wait. Hey, I haven't had to use these in a while. Now, this is the Pacific Northwest that I know. A little bit of rain. Wait. Uh, yes. Keep going this way. Take my next right. Got it. That is so many tourists. Give me your goo. Goo? I was so brave and they dropped no goo. Wait, they dropped the goo. Plastic. When you say rare, how rare? I'm like 0 for 20 right now. Very rare. Well, then I'm going to stop fighting them. I thought I thought this was like a reliable way to get goo. Oh, hey! We found the quirk. Oh my god, when the windshield wipers are on... When the windshield wipers are on, the fuel gauge follows it. That's so funny. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That's so funny. One could say it's quirky. That's such a good quirk. Never fix it? Should I fix it or not fix it? Let me know, chat. Fix it or leave it? Okay, next right. It's dancing. Why fix it? I mean, that's fair. Um, do I want more plasma? Ah, I probably want more plasma. Do I know how much fuel I have? I gotta just simply turn off the uh, the windshield wipers. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's so funny. That's so funny. I think this is a steel car because it's green.
we get any steel from this? Not yet. Oh, I have my to-do list up still. Okay, I should have uh, cleared that. All right, so hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If I want thermosap and I'm not reliably getting it from tourists, where am I supposed to get it? Somewhere else. Later in the game. Okay. So I'm not actually supposed to have the... I'm not supposed to be a liberator yet. Goodness. are so many tourists here. Oh, what's this? I just feel like I'm littering now. They are less scary though, which makes me happy. Now that I know they can be defeated. Oh my God, there's so many tourists. There are so many tourists. still make me really nervous. I don't like them. I don't like them. I'm not that brave. Is there a tourist in here? There was last time. Buckets. I got too brave for a second and now I'm filled with fear and regretty. They, they give me the shivers, y'all. Ooh, what's this orb? A dumpster pearl. Wow. So lucky. Hey, a washroom. Someone left their backpack on the toilet. What is this? Bethesda game? <gasps> What's that? Oh my god. We got one. Y'all. Hey, let's go. You thought I was done with Peglin, but all these trash orbs are following me. Hey, oh. Now just don't die. Oh, I need a lot more of those. All right, so I need to do a big UE here.
Goodbye. Oh, you ready to send? Woo! Uh <laughs> I was told that T unstucks my car. Nice. All according to Keikaku. <laughs> Man, I saw that thing coming in the in the side mirror. Oh my god. Y'all. This game is so good. This game is so good. Orb. You ever just think about orb? Not even once? Oh, you should... You should think about Orb every now and then. Orb has feelings too. I like that they have little airplane bathrooms, you know? Alright, where are we going? We grab the orb. Right, and now we kind of just want to... I mean, we can go here. So that's a tunnel. And according to topography, that's uphill. So let's just follow the road around and then we'll make our way out. Left turn. Oh, that's a good thing. Come on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can, I can uh, pull out these light bulbs for whatever that's worth. Now, I've never actually done this before. So hold on. I grab this, and now I do this. Oh wait, they're broken. So I get a bulb and a glass shard out of it when I do that? Interesting. Hey, uh, Tino, thank you very much for the 38 months. I hope you're having an amazing day, friend. 
Was that worth? I got a light bulb. Ow! Ow! Oh my god, I bonked myself with the roof twice in a row. Oh, there's a truck up ahead. Do we have a bonk counter set up? No, but we should. Is that a fuel truck or a good, good storage truck? I think that's a good, good storage truck. A lot of cars here. I wonder if one of them is armored. Another art truck there. Oh my god, there are so many tourists around us. Bravery time. What's the warning panel mean? How'd I figure out? How'd I figure out to use the um, thingy on those? If you scan it, it tells you which tools to use. So can I fit this? Lol. Lol Lameo. Um... It's a larger dumpster pearl. So is this good? Is it worth it for me to take this entire full 100% durability steel door? Only a little? Good enough. All right. So I want to pull a UE and I want to take the road to the right. I'm not even in the area where we want to be all. <laughs> I don't know. The steel door, the steel door is probably uh, not necessary. I'm probably, if it's an armored door, yeah. If it's a steel door, I'm probably just supposed to ditch it. Hello? Dang it. Yeet. Can you not hot swap doors or you're not in the garage? Correct. You cannot. Wait. 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 I didn't think I could pull parts off my car. I guess I can't pull cars off of parts off of other cars. All right, let's just upgrade and then get out of here. I think that's not a waste. When you say he figured it out like that, it seems a little condescending. <laughs> oh my God, he did a basic video game mechanic. What will this idiot accomplish next? Stay tuned and find out. Wait a second. The uh, the yellow thing that I wanted is gone. I should just leave. Oh, wait. No, no, it's still there. It's just tiny. My love. 
Oh. It's got a little zappity. Oop. Time to s Oh, jeez. I was going to send. I, I don't. <clears throat> I don't want to. Oh, no. I don't want to test what happens if I try driving over a tourist. I've been told not to touch tourists, so I plan on never touching tourists. Okay, let's go straight on the dirt road up here. Try, time to get out of this zone. This connects back onto the main road. Want to basically pull over here ish. My car feels like it got more than a little zappadied. There it is. Let's try turning it off for a second. Maybe that'll fix some stuff. Ooh, fuel. Ugh, get out of here. I thought I just saw a fuel barrel. I did. Yoink! You remain disappointed by how little fuel there's actually in those barrels? Honestly, kind of legit, right? Those are big fuel drums. And they've got, like, nothing in them. That was the wrong button. Alright, time to leave. Go to the next zone. So things that we care to stop for, um, ARDA trucks, hello tourists, you know, they waved, isn't that sweet? ARDA trucks, and uh, if we see a police vehicle, an armored vehicle, so we can take those armored panels apart. Across, apart. Now what we're gonna do though, is um, when we get to the next zone, to the next loading screen, we're gonna take a short lunch break. Because Joe has made me a delicious and nutritious looking quesadilla. So we're going to hang out and we're going to enjoy that together. So, presumably, the game is paused here. Oh. Uh, so, give me a second. I'm going to pee. I'm going to wash my hands. And let's enjoy lunch break. I'll be right back.
Hi, friends. How's it going? <laughs> Hello, Molly. How are you? I got a quesadilla. I got a belly full of positivity. And uh, my fear, my fear is down to like a four. I'm so proud of me. How's everybody doing? How are you? What's in the quesadilla? Leftover lamb kebab. Mm-hmm. Thank you to the sneaky, sneaky friend who gifted a sub to Molly. So I went to a butcher shop and um, one of the things that they have instead of just like steak is they make seasoned skewers. And so we tried uh, their lamb souvlaki skewers and their Cajun beef skewers. For something labeled Cajun, their beef was not very seasoned, but this lamb is, ooh. This lamb it is very, very, very good. Oh, how's everybody doing? What should we talk about for lunch today? Hit me with your cues and I will gladly A. What is my ideal road trip car? Uh, my car, now that it's not broken. I was really worried about the road trip like a month ago because it needed a lot of very expensive repairs. And it is now done, which is very exciting. Having both a positive and a negative day today, but all good. I still owe you poutine suffix. That'll fix everything. Hey, what's up, Ben? Tea boys is a good seasoning if you're wanting to make something Cajun spiced. I, I look forward to it. You know, it's something I've never really gotten to explore cuisine-wise as a Canadian is Cajun. I need to, uh, I feel like it's a hole in my knowledge game. I feel like other styles of American cooking have kind of made it around like Southern style barbecue and stuff like that, but Cajun in particular. You think it's still a fun idea to like travel to Southern states and just do food tourism? I'll have to bring some up. It's a bit of a pain to acquire as it's a rural brand from Louisiana. Amazing. Hmm. Food tourism is the best tourism. So, I mean, I almost did a massive, I, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but in 2013, wow, that's 11 years ago now. In 2013, we, um, we were going to do a diners, drive-ins, and dives road trip across America. That was going to be the plan. We were going to just like, we were going to follow on a map and hit as many of the stops that they went to. Because I, I don't know. I just love sort of like greasy spoon style places. It was going to be incredible. We did not do that. Surges, stopovers, and snacks. Incredible. TM. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do people still like... Uh, what's his name? Guy Fieri. Is he legit or is he just kind of a meme? He's fine. Wait, wait, wait. Triple D's eatery list is literally the first thing we check when we travel. No way. Guy Fieri dresses like a dumpster fire, but he's good for food. Yeah, okay. Huh. His aesthetic is I'm rich, but that's his only sin. Allegedly a champ at remembering birthdays. Really? Interesting. Wait, a lot of the places don't exist anymore. I mean, it's been 
I mean, that show's got to be 15 years old at this point, right? Like the older seasons. Yeah, restaurants are tough. Wait, if I recall correctly, he only dresses like that because the show producers make him. Really? Like, look, you don't have enough personality to carry you, so we're going to give you frosted tips and a, and a flaming bowling shirt, and then you'll be memorable. <laughs> Devastating. It was a family-style Cajun place I desperately want to go to. I saw it on a full tourism show. Like, how far away has that been? Oh, he's been doing revisit episodes lately. Oh, that's exciting. Guy Fieri officiated 101 gay weddings in Florida in 2015. All right. Point Guy Fieri. Love it. All right, here's the dream. We approach the Food Network or the Travel Network or some type of big cable show. I don't know if they do this anymore. And we get them to pay me to visit cafes all over the world and just drink coffee and gush about it. What do you think? You think there's enough of a sales pitch there? Co-signed, you'd watch. I'd even get frosted tips. If they paid me to drink coffee, I'd, I'd frost my tips. I even did a pilot of the show. I mean, you know. I'll have to frost the tips of my beard. This is as much facial hair as I can grow. It's not much of a beard. Is this enough to die? Could we frost these tips? <laughs> Come to Brazil for food tourism? Man, that'd be amazing. So, so funny. I know this isn't Brazil, but uh, when I was in Spain, when I was in Barcelona for Magic Fest, one of my favorite comments is all these Portuguese guys would come up and they'd be like, how's the coffee in Spain? I'd be like, yeah, it's pretty good. They're like, no. It's garbage. You want good po you want good coffee? You come to Portugal. And I was like, whoa. I love this passion. <laughs> but I love the setup. It wasn't like it wasn't you have to come here first. It was they started like, what do you think? I'm like, it's good. And like, you're wrong. Come to Portugal, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend that tried to get Channel Fireball to fly him out early to each Magic Fest to shoot a video for like places to eat. Oh, that's kind of cool. I take it that didn't work. We need an international edition of Triple D, but for like decadent dec uh, destinations. So another place I'd love to go, but I probably I'm not rich enough to enjoy is uh, there's Chef's Table on Netflix, which is some of the most amazing and beautiful like food photography. It's more of a um, it's more of like a documentary on on chefs at like, you know, the top 100 restaurants in the world. But I look at that and I'm like, wow, this is wild stuff. I don't know, any fine dine enjoyers in the chat? I've always been intimidated. I've always been, I'm kind of a picky eater. And the idea of sitting down for like the chef's experience five course meal where they're like, no, you're going to eat everything and no substitutions has never quite been what I want to do. You love how gorgeous shows like that are, but in your heart, you just want to go to food trucks. Yeah, right. I'm like, oh man, 
that's great and all, but like, give me some more barbecue ribs. I guess I'm just a peasant at heart. <laughs> like when I was in Chicago, the most exciting food I've I went to, there was like um, a place that did, you know, butter chicken, butter fried chicken tacos and stuff like that. And you're like, yeah, <laughs> I think I went there three times. It was so good. Never have the patience for a five course meal. That's it's an experience, right? You're like, yeah, I'm going to sit there for three hours. Hmm. At a food truck, there's less between you and the good food. A fine dining experience is definitely the experience first we get down to it. Okay, so one, one thing that I missed out for, one thing that I missed out in uh, Alberta, and I'm kind of bummed about this because I found out about it after I had the flights booked. So on Halloween day, there's a fine dining restaurant in a small mountain town nearby called Canmore that was doing for one night only a fine dining menu based on the movie the menu like they did uh, uh their menu was going to be every single dish from the movie including like an experience around the entire movie and it sounded so cool and i can't remember i think it was like 120 or 180 dollars per person or something like that and i was like oh man but i had to fly to victoria to do a ppr for it and i i missed it because it was a halloween day only so that would that would have been I mean talking about experiences that would have been rad. <laughs> All right, my lunch is defeated. Give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna use the washroom and then back to the game. Stick around. Hello. Hello, fellow drivers. All right. So the hope is I need to make it here. And so my hope is that if I drive to here, uh, it'll unlock the route. Or I don't really want to go to the high instability area, you know? So let's go this way and see if uh, if it gets us any closer. My experience with fine dining has been more about the execution than the experience. Like a perfectly cooked steak is the experience. Interesting. I mean, some of the like hardcore gastronomy places are definitely more about like an experience experience. So extreme conditions, what does turncoat mean? I don't know what that means. Uh, I want to grab these and then I want to dip, I guess, because I can't actually continue the road in any direction. You'll find out. Deal. You can look it up in the logbook. Ugh, exhausting. Kind of wish the UI would just let me hover over it. We'll figure out the fun way. Oh, 
Oh. Send time. Woo! <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to remember it now. Wasn't there like uh, an old TV show about a couple of young guys and they had like a Mustang and they'd like jump off of cliffs all the time? Oh, 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 are you armored? What are you? Duke's a hazard, yeah. Are you armored or are you just steel? Abandoned, oh. Knight Rider, I mean, Knight Rider is also kind of legit. Why are you honking? Hello? Where's my car going? Hello? Don't love that. Car's haunted, I see that. Turn it off. Can't go turncoat if it's off. Check for tourists, no tourists. See around, lost, get out, okay. Oh, what are you? Hey, cool. I want that. My car being haunted is a little bit spooky. I'm going to be honest. Hated that. Okay, the spook putty's going back on everybody. Oh. Alright, I don't think we're going to do a lot of farming on this map. This map is um, very spook. Very spook. Very spookums. Alright, so if I go into the valley... Is that an up or down on the topography? Oh, that's an up. Is it still an up? Now it's a down. I don't think I want to full send into a tree. Just, just, just letting you know. <laughs> just realized I'm a little hungry. Why don't I want to full send into a tree? A uh, years of scheme. Look, you full send into a tree once, and then you think to yourself, I should probably never do that again.
Stop that. I'm sorry, car. You got a little zappity. That's my B. Man, look at these off-road tires go. Let's go. Foggy forest evening. Not a huge fan. Gonna just put this out there. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. All right, I'm, I'm getting out of here. This is, this is. Free. Stop it. Okay. Uh, let's get up on top of the hill. Let's get to that road. And we'll just leave. I don't like my haunted car. It is taking away all of my chill. I was filled with happy and chill, and now it is. It has left me. Okay, where do I go from here? I want to go this way. This way to the road. I'm on the main monitor now. That's very flattering. Thank you, Bream Bacon. Uh, error. Hate that. Hi. Ugh. I almost made it up the hill. I had the momentum and everything. Oh, and now it's raining? All right, off-road tires. This is why, this is why we didn't start the escape at this point, right? Come on, come on. Uh-oh. Heck yeah. What is that? It feels like a gateway, but in the middle of the level. Weird. Jeez. Okay. All right. We're getting out of here. Level two spoopy. Imagine playing this game with an actual driving setup. I mean, that'd be very interesting, right? Like, actually, handbrake, handbrake? Yes. Uh, some people were mentioning earlier this game would be rad on VR. Probably a lot. I mean, I was even thinking just wearing headphones for this game. A little bit more immersion would be kind of cool. It's a little spoopy for me. Uh, if I remember correctly, Ian doesn't do particularly well with first-person games, so I think he might enjoy the driving, but the part where he gets out of the car would probably not be his cup of tea. <sighs> All right. Huge success, everybody. 6.7 Stabilium? Wow. No interesting thing about those anchor plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Okay. Hello. I have a delicious and nutritious dumpster pearl for you. Om nom nom. MREs. MREs and steel sheets and canned food. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Wow, what's this tube? Shark teeth. Shark teeth decals.
we might we might have to finally put something on our car. <laughs> Shark teeth? But the wood panels are so good. Yeah, but may I call your attention to shark teeth? There's gears in different cabins. I'm not too worried about it. I have nothing but space. Actually, let's put these all at the bottom here. That's what the big food was. I didn't realize the big food was MRE this whole time. How much do these stack to? Only up to five? Okay. I should leave the rest here then. It's a lot of first aid kits. Ahem. <clears throat> See, that's where I'd love to be able to split a stack, right? I want to be able to take, like, a couple of these. Not ten and not one. I don't want ten, I don't want one. Ugh. I guess one it is. I'll find more. I can loot more. All right. Let's do some quest stuff and see where we end up after all of this. Uh, first things first, let's talk to the weird dumpster. Hello? Uh-huh. Anything else? that oh fabric the car wasn't haunted because of a quirk i thought the, the car was haunted because the map was haunted that was that was my interpretation of what happened there hello cj thank you very much for that raid welcome in raiders how's it going everybody hope you had a, a wonderful day welcome on in all right, what do we got? What do we got over here? We've got uh, two doors and a panel. All right, where where are we most damaged? What are you? You're a panel. Where else are we damaged? Uh, it's all panels. I mean, I guess I could repair the most of this, right? Back door. What up, Don Chromatic? Afternoon. I'm making my podcast for work. Ooh. Oh, are we changing the color up a little here? Um, I guess a little. <laughs> Our car has a saddlebag? It does! I added a saddlebag to the side there. I put all my tools into it, you know? The stuff that we need quick access to. How's it going, Word Nerdify? Am I enjoying this game? A lot. A lot, a lot, actually. It's a little spooky, though. So, I think... Alright, well, let's do a couple things. Hit it with some power. Give it the juice. <clears throat> Bloop. Good stuff. <clears throat> so we've got a quirk 
but chat voted and you want to you want to keep the perk and you know what i respect that i respect that The only perk that we have is um, the one where every time we do the steering wheel, or pardon me, every time we turn on the windshield wipers, the the um, <laughs> we turn on the windshield wiper, the um, fuel gauge goes with it. Are we sure we only have one? No, <laughs> I'm not. We could just diagnose it. We could say hello. Hello, Tinker Station. So, the shifter toggles the fuel gauge. Hold on. The fuel, what's it called? I'm trying to find the fuel gauge. All right, so the wipers toggles the dashboard. The fuel gauge doesn't fail. I mean, technically it fails. So what happens is when our wipers are on, our fuel gauge wipes with it. And I cannot find the language. That sounds like a failure. It doesn't quite describe the behavior, but we could try it. Uh, wait. Hold on, did I, did I get that wrong? What does this mean? <clears throat> You switch screens instead of submitting? Okay. So, let's try this again. I have three quirks. We've only diagnosed one. All right, hold on. So, the wipers toggles the dashboard fuel gauge fail. I would like to submit this. Wiper stays on, fuel gauge fails. Right, it's not a toggle. You're right. So the language here is a little bit clunky. Correct diagnosis. Guess refunded. So now if we go here, I have two other quirks. I have a plan. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did something just make a noise? I'm trying to diagnose stuff right now. So. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. This is another really random quirk. Wait, you think that door is closing so I can get out? You don't think that's a quirk? <laughs> you sure that's not a quirk? The door fell off.
Okay, that, that is a quirk. Right? The door falling off isn't a quirk? Hold on. Right, if I don't get in and out. Okay, it might be me. It might be me. Okay, apparently it's just my absolute enormous booty. Uh, I did not realize that my butt was so large that when I got in and out of a car, I would actually rip a door off of its hinges. I would like to apologize. All right, where is this to-do list coming from? I don't want a to-do list. Snake would be proud. There we go. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Okay. What is this? Okay, there's the one quirk we've diagnosed. Wait. Okay, so I tried to do I tried to do some basic QA, some basic um, <sighs> yeah, some basic QA of trying to isolate a bunch of stuff and test it. You know, I used to do QA professionally. Nope, get out of the car, Jaeger. So I tried to isolate a bunch of stuff there, and you know, had all the doors open, wanted to see if turning stuff on or off or combinations there and to do stuff. The fact that there are two other undiagnosed quirks is wild to me. More surge lore. <laughs> How did that not come up? I uh, will just have to look for weird behavior. I'm still thinking that our front left tire is haunted. I just want you to know that I believe that our tires are haunted. All right. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at our upgrades here. What's this? This device allows you to use a scanner charge to send a modified signal to a junction. Scrambling it. No, thank you. Uh, corrupted energy. No, thank you. Unstable energy. No, thank you. Stable energy. Circuit board. Uh, what is this? The investigator module. This upgrade to the Tinker Station will report back to you which elements of a diagnosis are correct. Okay. I want a circuit board. Okay, we're going to upgrade the Tinker Station here. All right, Surge's one-stop upgrade shop. No vehicle in parking bay.
I don't believe you. Ooh. All right, here's our first problem. Our car is obviously haunted. I mean, it was working before. Interesting, that took none gas. It works on my machine, yeah, no kidding. Okay, um, 5.7, let's take a look at some other stuff here. I'm not too worried about my headlights. Wait, a relightable flare, no. Side floodlights. What the automobile world needs these days is more side-mounted floodlights. <clears throat> the practical application of such things may not yet be clear, but it looks like you may be able to find some. That's very funny. Um, I'm not too worried about armored doors or anything yet. All-terrain tire requires unstabilium. Okay. Puncture-proof tire. Ooh. Requires an advanced workbench. We're not there yet. Could put another expansion rack on this bad boy. Slaps roof of the car. All right. What is this? Side fuel tank. Not enough room inside your car for gasoline. Mount a little bit more on the outside to enjoy longer, even more exciting excursions into the zone. This is an extremely safe idea. Hey, I believe you. I'd like um, more gasoline. I want to upgrade my gasoline. I want to upgrade my battery. Are the two things that I want to do. I'm guessing that the side fuel tank needs to be mounted onto a side rack. So let's make that too. Let's go here. Can I pull this off and put it on this side? Nice. And the reason for that is if the side gasoline goes there, I want it right beside the fuel pump so I can fill it faster. Big brain, thank you. So now the real question is, does this go? Oh, it does. It goes actually into the fuel tank too. Sick. Could I be refueling on the other side if that was possible? Maybe? I don't know. You fill all tanks when using the gas cap? Oh. I mean, that's kind of cool. Does that include these ones as well? Because I've definitely had to manually refill these. Oh, but now what I have to do, I have to go all the way over here for this backup fuel tank. Yeah, it didn't fill everything. It doesn't fill the portable ones. Did not fill my jerry cans. So the issue now is, if that's the case... I want to switch these back. And the reason for that is um, I really like having all my tools accessible. And if it doesn't make a difference, if it fills, if one side fills all, I want to be able to access all my tools. All right. Let's take a look at some more upgrades here. What do we got? Uh, battery. The plasma charger requires unstabilium. Stable energy. Ever argue about whether Frankenstein was the doctor or the monster? Um, now you can argue about whether it's the mechanic or the vehicle. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. This is probably fine. There's probably no downside to this whatsoever. Maybe this means I also take less damage. I don't know. Let's find out. Where does this go? Do I attach it to my battery? It also goes on a side rack. Is 
I need another side rack. Boo. Seat rack. Nobody's going to be using those back seats. You may as well mount something there. Amazing. Hey, what's up, Eric? Thank you so much for 70 months. Holy moly, friend. I'm going to try and put it on the front near the battery. Oh, it goes here? Wait, they can both go there. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Dreams come true. Look. I put it on the wrong side. Please hold. <laughs> oh, no. I can't take it off. No. I put it there so I could move my hands. Ah. I don't know if I can make another one. I don't know if I have the resources for it. I didn't want to spend all my points on this. No. All right. There you go. We've spent literally all of our points. Oh, this is a roof rack. Oh, God. Everything is over. Save scum? Nah, it's fine. Just never, ever, ever emotionally recover, but it's fine. Lightning Rod can't go there. It has to go here. You know, this is fine. We're going to have the giant thing that attracts lightning bolts right next to our excess fuel. I don't see anything that could possibly go wrong with this. And we've got a roof rack, and I have no idea what to put on the roof rack. Everything is fine, right? Everything is totally okay and totally fine. He says with no amount of sadness. Side battery. What's this? Mini turbine is using a large propeller to capture wind energy. Kind of a janky concept. It could be. Does it just look a little amateur? It might. But does it work? Great, Scott. It certainly does. Hydro generator. It's simply not the energy from raindrops being converted into electricity. It's that acid and heavy metals sometimes present within the zone's rainfall that are being utilized. Don't drink the water. Neat. So when it rains, it charges our battery. Uh, so hydro is better when it's working. Mini turbine, I think, just works all the time. All right. One last thing. One last thing here. Let's build this mini turbine. Make a circuit board. Wait, where am I even going to put this? My racks are all full. My racks. I can't put it on the roof. All right, well, I made something, and it's just going to go sit in this locker for now. We'll come back for you later. Side rack. My side racks are full. I can't get another side rack. Wouldn't a wind turbine most of the time just increase drag and cost more money than it generates? Welcome to the future. This is the year 1998. Your logic has no place here. In the world of the future today. All right. So that, I don't know why I had to turn around. It said I couldn't keep driving. So we want to go here next. So real quick. How are we doing? We got some quirks. Don't we all? Don't we all have a couple of quirks, eh? All right. We got gas. We got fuel. The car is in pretty good shape. Uh, let's just make sure we've emptied the trunk. Yep. We got tools. We got fuels. We got a backup crowbar and a backup scrapper. All right, everybody. You didn't fix the wild... Wait, you didn't fix the windshield wiper? I... Yes. I know. That was the plan, remember? The plan. Everybody loved our windshield wiper quirk. Sometimes it's not a bug, it's a feature.
All right, let's go this way this time. So let's go here, grab that, and then just keep on sco keep on scooting. Keeping our eyes out for armored vehicles. Keeping our eyes out for ARDA trucks. And otherwise, not really stopping for much. I feel like we need next tier resources, not more the same, you know? Alright, pardon me. Good. Look both ways. We're at a stop sign. Drop anything? A flare lit up out of nowhere and I thought I was going to die. Oh, that was so scary. You saw a drop go flying over the car? Hate this. Give it the boot. Anomaly is bothering you. Wow. Them bunnies. All right. You said over the car. I don't see it. I left it in drive, by the way. Oh, I want that too. Jeez, there's more of them. Okay, this is fine. Oh, yes! 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 Oh, that was their arm that went flying. Oh, that's morbid. Oh my god, I got another one. Let's go. I forgot the light one. No, that was a test. You pass. All right, we want to get out of here now. We just want to go here. Oh, 
Oh! Giant saw blades rolling around like land sharks. Yeah, it's okay. Just gotta, just gotta. They're most active at dusk and dawn, you know. Like many other, like many other animals. Do my headlights just flicker? I think I found a quirk. When I turn my headlights, turn off. Hey, 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 hey! Remember that. Okay, we found our second quirk. You were wondering when I was going to notice that? How would I have noticed that earlier? Did you see it happening? Oh my god, we got another one. Follow it. Oh, they go far. Oh my god, they go so far. Uh, I think I have five now. I think I can actually make a liberator, which is kind of huge. Oh, my, we're getting so many? Y'all. What's the quirk? The quirk is while we're driving with our headlights on, when we turn, the headlights turn off. See? A little cup of liberty right there. Nice. So, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I need to be going... Oh, shoot. Uh, how do I get there? I missed my turn off because of the tunnel. All right, we're going back through the tunnel. Through the tunnel and first right. It's a good thing I was here to bring democracy to the tourists, eh? Do you notice that quirk? Is this the very first time? Like, but... We were just driving now. I guess I noticed it pretty quickly. It's funny in a video game because sometimes you're like, is this a quirk or is my game bugged, right? Okay, I'm under the... Oh, it's not that I didn't go... I didn't miss my turn. It's that the tunnel is right under it. Oh. Well, this is tough. How am I supposed to get there? That's a big hill. I guess I can try going uphill this way. Use the roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads, 50. Got it. You like that catch? Wait, I didn't catch it. <laughs> All right, look for red light in the fields. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so good at this. Maybe it was not a rare spawn. Maybe it's, if you're not watching for the trajectory of the explosion, it's very hard to see where it goes. Just think, I used to be afraid. I was petrified. 
I'm still really worried about them sneaking up on me. If I'm honest, I think I'm still going to get absolutely, absolutely jump scared at some point by one of them. But when I get to pick the terms of combat, I feel like a genius. I feel very brave. They're just silent friends coming to say hi. They should text first. Don't they know it's rude to come over unannounced? If I text, can I come over? I mean, I'm moving in a couple of days, but you know what, Osk? Basically anytime. All right, we made it to the top. Now we're gonna turn left when we reach the road and uh, check out the next area. It's the 90s, there's no texting. Sorry, Hosk, I'm gonna need you to fax me or send a message to my pager. Good thing we have a steel bumper, eh? Uh-oh. All right, we're going to here now. This junction has disruptive charge. Left, right, beating heart, bolt bunny, wiggling wreck. Oh, and two I haven't identified before. That's kind of cool. I can try and get some new scan scans there. It has a new thing I haven't recognized, a gas station sodium vapor light. Uh, oh, it has a box truck somewhere. Okay, that's kind of cool. You text back then, you need a good old T9. Do you mean the calculator? So why can't I continue down the road, y'all? Is it because I've only been here for the first time and I have to come back later? I don't understand. Yes? So I have to do this twice? Yikes, y'all. Uh, there's a, hold on, there's a gas station here first. Why is it so bright? And so pink. You have to go to places so many times. Ufa. Airstrip.
Tobias, this is Francis Cook. Yeah, the scientist. I've got a bit of an update for you. I'm afraid it's bad news. Those drums of experimental gravity gel we were sending back to you are neither going to get there. Neither is the truck, it seems. We had some kind of atmospheric shift and more anomalies. Okay, everyone's safe, but our driver has a broken leg. And for the gel, well, the whole strip of road between our lab site, the gas station got speared and scrambled. Anything that touches the road just takes off. Uh-oh. Hold on. So what happens if I just drive through it? Ow. Seems fine. Oh, big yeet. Oh, geez. Hey, Yalk. Thank you for gifting the sub to 50. Wait, what's that blue light? Hold on. We have to find out only one way. Y'all. Amazing. A little air boosty. I right, hold on. <laughs> uh oh, boosties. <laughs> okay, we made it to the gas station. I'm paying for that gas. Uh, put it on my tab. Wow, so this place is slowly killing me. Yeah, tab name is uh, James Turner. Pardon me.
Have I scanned this? I don't know if I have. I had scanned the wiggling the wriggling wreck before. Okay. Do you do anything else after this? No. You, oh, jeez. That was a lot of rads a lot of quickly. Um, do I have any extra food on me? Need some of these MREs. Would be good for 12 health. That's actually just worse than canned food. Two by two, four blocks at 12 health, or two blocks at eight health, right? I was kind of hoping that'd be like 20, you know? Pretty irradiated yourself. Hey, oh. Oh, oh, all right, this is going to be a big one. Speed boost into air boost. Yo, uh-oh, too far. Uh-oh, uh-oh, God, jeez. Any uh any skiers in the chat? So hold on, there should be the yellow thing right around here. Anybody ever gone off a jump a little too big and then you find yourself you're in the air, you're floating and you're just like I have made I have made a tremendous mistake. I don't, I can't everything is yellow. I can't see the distinctive yellow light that would tell me where I'm going. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's quite the feeling of helplessness when you find yourself in the air and you're high enough in the air that you can look down and be like, what were the, what were the choices I made in my life that led to this particular moment? How did I get here? All right, this place is quite hostile. And I, I don't much appreciate it. We could just leave. Ah, you know, we're pretty close to this one. Let's just grab it. And then, and then we can leave. I have a question. Hold on. Does this work the way I want it to? Oh, I was kind of hoping I could like, you know, scourge. You know what? I don't think I much enjoy this map. I'm going to want to go to... Uh, that looks like low ground. So I could make it... That looks like it's uppy. I want to go there. I want to get a little bit closer first. Did the lightning rod do anything? I don't know. Ow. In theory, that should be charging my battery. 
I don't know if that's my car battery though. It went up, okay. God. Feeling good now. I'm gonna be responsible and I'm not just gonna fully send to there, we're gonna follow the road. So unfortunately I couldn't find uh, like an armored vehicle. There's no armored vehicle in this one, pardon me. This map was supposed to have the, uh, the truck truck. that fine we're gonna touch the zone just a little here oh wait 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 that's that's not the bad zone that's an okay no we're we're totally fine Sorry, where's the road this is the road all right So progression on this map is a little bit slower when you have to revisit the same spot over and over. I don't know how I feel about that. I was like kind of vibing with this game for a bit, but like having to head back to the same place more than once, I don't know, I'm kind of medium on that. The game is run based, sure, but like, I don't know. I don't like that I have to revisit an area. That, like, I cannot progress without having to come back doesn't feel great. Looks like you're getting the hang of things. Well, once you get that unfortunate... It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel immersive. It feels like busy work, you know? But, either way, we back. We back in one piece. <laughs> Their shortcuts been get old after a while. That's the thing. It just kind of makes it feel like work. All right. Uh, we have a quirk that we have diagnosed. Headlights. S switches off. When car turns. wobbles so headlights they don't switch off they toggle when the steering wheel wobbles <clears throat> other way around cause on the left okay so steering wheel Swerves. Headlights. Dim. Flicker, maybe? What word would you use there? It's not a switch off. It's, again, it's not a flicker or a toggle. It's closer to a dim. Dim. 
I guess it stays turning. Oh my god. I had it right. We lose a guess there. All right. Uh, let's fix that one. One light replacement kit. Okay. Blech. I made a mistake. I thought I was going to reselect what I had before. And it, in fact, did not. Love the aesthetic of this game. It's a very good game. Kind of hoping for more steel panels here. Maybe you only get a steel panel if it's 100% durability when you go to break it. I don't know. Nope, got one that time. Weird. Alright, here's a 100%er. Nope. It's just a percentage chance. I don't know. You get your guesses back after the next trip? Oh, that's good to know. I did kind of feel like maybe they were uh, semi-permanent. So that's really good to know. Like the, the count. Like if I lost them, they were gone forever. So that feels good. All right. Got another anomaly here. We'll put this away. Uh, we can put the MRE rations back into the car. You agonized about guessing until I realized the refill? Dang. Uh, risk of losing an insecure item. So I can put another side rack on the car here. I don't have another... What side? Oh, right. I put it over here. I forgot. So I put this here. And then we grab the fuel tank, put it right next to the other tank, just like we drew it up. And then we grab this now, the mini turbine, slap it on there. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, I've got one food here and I got four food there and one first aid kit. Top this up. Top up. Actually, let's switch it around. We have a roof rack as well. Yes, I'm very fancy. I'm fancy like that. They call me Roof Rack Jaeger. I don't I actually don't know why. Oh, my side fuel tank took damage too. That's terrifying. All right, how are we looking here? Uh, this door is a little worse for wear. Is the roof rack where I keep my full house? Of course. Where else would you put a full house? All right, get a couple of these in. A couple of little free repairs here. All right, uh, which one do you think is the most beat up? Oh, quite a few here, dang. How many jokers do I have so far? They're all negative, so you can't see them. 
All right, I apparently need to repair a little bit more than I thought. So, I mean, that's fine. It's fine. Big stretch. Starting to lose track of all the things they call me. I mean, that's fair. There are a lot of nicknames. It's true. So. I've got one putty. I need more than that. I need to slap. Anything that's yellow I want to repair. This ought to do. Alright. So. Start with this back door. Then back panel. Surge too many titles, Jaeger. That's fair. That's a good nickname. Okay, then we want to do the front panels. Uh, the bumper and both lights. And then this panel. <laughs> and then this door. Everything else is looking pretty good here. If it's got a little ding in it, it's fine. It's fine. It'll buff out next time. Flying seems to have damaged my car. I, I for one, am shocked. Okay. Well, let's just get right back on the road, shall we? Aha! Wow. Oh, I found a shortcut. Look at this. I don't have to go either of these ways. I can just go straight there. Thank goodness. Can you imagine? And so we've got a shortcut to there in the future too, right? Uh, real quick, how are we doing here? Do I want to bring another scrapper with me before I dip? Not really scrapping all that much. Let's just hit the road, shall we? Hit that old dusted trail. Actually, before I get out there, let's uh I'm gonna grab some water. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Inventory icons and look kind of bother me. It takes a while to figure out what it is. I've just kind of realized that I don't actually ever... I've given up on ever knowing or caring what's in my inventory. Uh, because I don't actually know what they are. <laughs> like, all crafting materials may as well be the same thing as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of crafting in a Fallout game. Where I'm just like, I just don't care. All right. Uh, there's lefty righty, stable anchor, and there's abductors. There's something I don't know. Bold bunny, wriggling wreck, and don't know. Uh, box truck is here. Spike puddle. Okay. There's not a ton here. I'd like to be able to scan the two enemies I don't know. And I'd also like to hit the box truck. Thank <laughs> you. 
Battery sapping. Oh, that's kind of spooky. Oh, cool. Uh, simply, simply follow the map. Right, I guess this is a shortcut. And the shortcut is just like, go. What's left, right? I have no idea. Uh, that is an, an ARDA truck though. So this place battery sap, so let's actually turn the car off while we loot. Crude bumper. Pardon me. Haunted tunnel. So is that right there? Is that my battery, y'all? Oh no, my battery's on the left. I don't know what that shielding is. That's my battery. Oh, let's go. Steel bumper. It has a star on it. What does the star mean? What does the star mean? Am I asking? Yeah. Is the star good? It says it's peculiar. Oh, it has 65% more collision. Yeah, look at that. 20 more HP and 45% more, I want to say bump resistance. Uh, let's take this with us for now. You never know, right? Steel panel. I think all of our other panels are better than that one. Yeah. Better stats can't be repaired or scrapped. You know what? It's uh, still an improvement. Still an improvement. Um, two of my panels have the worn out condition I don't know what that means but I can probably put it together I will look into that in the future or I won't we'll see thank you Thank you for the free juice. Haha. -ha. They activated our trap card. Oh, 
Okay, this shortcut was actually kind of rad. I like this shortcut. A little bit of loot, a little bit of stuff to look at, but ultimately, it just gets you from point A to point B, and I respect that. Was it one of the things we need to scan? No, that was the writhing monstrosity. I didn't see anything that looked different to me. All right, I hope the storm passed. Or we're going into another kind of spoopy area here, but that's okay. I want to get there. Okay, so we go... It's actually kind of a great road. Here, here, hit the gas station. And then uh, get on out of town. Not bad. Oh, are you new? You might be new. The pacemaker. Uh, that's too much to read while I'm currently dying. Uh, there's an abductor there. There's two abductors there. Good, good. Where's my first aid kit? I don't have it on me. Neat. That's a mistake. My emergency first aid kit is not here. Okay. Terrifying. Run. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> There I am, just chilling, trying to administer first aid. Uh, speaking of which, I need to stop here. I need to try and find food and stuff. Is this new? Still nothing. Old arcade game, old TV, old cooler. Cooler's got food. Food is good. Basketball. I'm carrying a basketball? I'm carrying a basketball. Hands only. I'm extremely disappointed that I cannot take the basketball with me. You have no idea. No, no, I'm sorry, Orb. It's actually very sad. How you doing, man? I tried to put it in the orb hole. The round ball does not go in the round hole, unfortunately.
Oh. Did it again. Accidentally hit the ignition as I tried to run away. Oh. Sun's coming out. Very pretty. Another writhing monstrosity. Good. Ooh, a tunnel. Yes! I'm definitely expecting this to be where they introduce like a jump scare or something. This terrifies me. In the dark tunnel pulling over. Oh my god. Uh, we got another another dumpster pearl or whatever it's called. Good stuff. This is where I have a heart attack, right? Like they get me in the darkness here and I never forgive this game again. Uh, I think it was, um, I, look, I don't like horror a lot, but one of the movies that I have seen is, um, what was it called? Like the X Days Later franchise. It started off like 30 days later and then like 30 months later, 30 weeks later or whatever. And I'm pretty sure one of the most horrifying scenes I've ever seen in a movie was um, 28 days later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had one that took place down in like the sewers, like the subway system in the second movie or something like that. And it was just all dark and so tense. And I was like, no, I cannot handle this. Too many spoops. Did not like. Did not like one little bit. Love you a good zombie movie? Mm. <gasps> Another pearl? Wow, they shouldn't have. Wait, did I get another thermosap crystal? Let's go. Hey, I probably have enough now, uh, next time we get back, that I could craft. What's this pink thing? What are these? Marsh eggs. Uh, okay. I could craft a uh, replacer later on. Or not a replacer, a liberate. Liberator. <laughs> Oh, delicious and nutritious marsh eggs? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Bear. Marsh eggs sound like something out of Futurama. All right. I could grab one more from right here. And in fact, let's do that. I'm not going to go for the other one because it seems out of the way. This one, according to the map, is like right here. Leave the car running. We just filled up. Orb. Stabe orb. Ank orb. More like it. All right. Let's kick it down to here. 
Uh, we just take a right, and then uh, we just out of here. Right, and then a left. No, 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 no. We'll just stay on this. Stay on this road. Keep our eyes peeled for a truck. Don't get hit by the bun bun. Bun bun can't catch us. We're too fast. Dang it. Another orb on the way. Oh, it just skirted by us. Oh, that's an abductor. No, the, the other orb isn't on the way. I don't like it. It's, uh... Yeah, that's so far. It's ironic that I stopped right at it. I have no intentions of going to it, though. We've already grabbed, like, five orbs on this, tri on this trip. We need to start getting Unstableium and the other one, Corruptium. I'm not too worried about farming the basic stuff right now because it looks like we're about to be out of it. Uh, can I just... Nope. All right, good talk. These light beams are very pretty, by the way. Oh, hello. How you doing? There are a lot of abductors here. What? There's so many? Hello? Where do they take you? They grab your car, pull you in a direction they want to go for a little bit, and you kind of have to fight to get out. So they could smash you into stuff. They could pull you off the road. They don't really, like, abduct you, abduct you. But they abduct you in the sense that they take you uh, uh, towards a place that you don't want to be. One time they helped. They coincidentally pulled us out of a ditch, which was kind of handy. I mean, we still died, but still. It wasn't the abductor's fault. The abductor can also just take your car while you're running around. Yep. I think that may have happened once. Normally, I'm pretty careful. All right. Well, we are heading into a high instability area. Uh, it has eerie darkness. Oh, I don't like that. It has a swift storm. All right, everybody. Get your hoods ready. Hi, sweetie. Joe brought me coffee. Uh, it has uh, three things that we've never recognized before. As well as a new thing that's not recognized. All right. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not afraid. You're afraid. All right, everybody. Are you ready to be so brave? Are you ready to be the bravest? Uh, uh, what is this? Where am I? I'm here. Do the lights help? A little. Already going the wrong way. Already missed my turn off.
The road's over to my right. I'm not even on the road? Am I on the road now? Is this the road? I think it is. Yeah, I can see some tracks. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you hate this? I'm at like a 6.5 right now. Doctor, no abducting, please. My car! I beg your pardon? What in the world was that? Stop that! What in the world was that? What was that? not reach barely it's so dark here hi kids so apparently somewhere to our left here there's a thing Bunny hopping is always faster, right? That's a podcast you can listen to? Yep. Uh, we're going to leave now, by the way. We're going to go here. 
yeah, the, uh, it was pretty obviously an audio log. Like, <laughs> okay, I want to go this way, and I want to connect to the road, and then I want to start going straight afterwards. Uh, now didn't exactly seem like the right time to listen to an audio log, though. Am I on the road? I am now on the road. Okay. The road is going to lead us straight there. Slow and steady. Slow and greedy. Slow and greedy, I always say. This is such an unpleasant feel area. Yep. Zone, huh? Oh, GG, everybody. Let's go. You ever seen anybody so brave before? I'm so proud of me. What if we just simply never leave the garage again? That's an idea, you know? Certainly an idea. Oh. <laughs> so I got out of it with a new fancy bumper, which is also kind of cool. What's this? Circuit board. I have a... I got another pearl. I guess I haven't actually used it yet. So give me a second here. more stuff in the car, right? Yeah. And this audio log. Oh, I have two pearls. Wow. Can't believe my mom let me have two pearls. It's a lot of steel. Oh, right, I forgot to put the totally sweet shark pattern on our thing. Wow, sorry, everybody. What a tremendous blunder. Wait, do I have so many of these now that I can't fit them all in one locker? Oh, never mind. No, we good. All right. Uh, did I put this in the fax machine? Wait, transmission fragment. This woman, she doesn't know what she created. But whoever does, we can't control how our inventions are used. What? audio log it oh wait, there he is I have the distinct honor to introduce to you the American people a new scientific frontier with a raw power like limb technology in the good hands of true patriots like Dr. Ophelia Turner the potential is limitless on this day we welcome our very future 
Does the audio log also include music? Oh, it does, yeah. Dr. Ophelia Turner is standing next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. She stands, stiff-backed, her hazel eyes affixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous. A lightning bolt frozen mid-strike and the reaction immediate. The gathering audience roars with excitement and spontaneous applause. On Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for a picture, and she does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers and science journals for the next decade. The mother of limb technology, they called her. The angel of a new age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in blink and you miss a promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of limb technology disappear. Hmm. So hold on. Fragile. This won't last much longer. Even the toughest components cannot be repaired indefinitely. Sometimes things just get old. Oh. Boo. Well, it was a good run, little buddy. It was a good run. If you're in a bind, pay a visit to the friendly dumpster out back. I always seem to find just what I need in there. Fragile. I think it's Italian. Can I craft steel? Oh, from scrap metal? Let's go. Wait, I definitely don't need that, but here we are. Uh, I need a steel panel. To replace the one that we just... Re we yeah, whatever. Alright. Uh, our super bumper is doing great. Okay, how are our doors doing? This one looks a little, a little worse for wear. You wish your 3D printer was that fast? Here's a quick question. How many people in this community have a 3D printer? I'm actually kind of curious about that. Any 3D printer enthusiasts? And what do you use it for? You have five? Holy moly. Your roommate has one. You used to have one, you plan to have one again. Wild. You use it to make D&D &D minis. I mean, that's kind of cool. How do we always keep losing that same door? That's a very good question. You're not an enthusiast unless you have at least three. Huh. Who knew? Did I pull off a panel or a door there? That was a panel, thank you. You have one broken one, one that you like, the one that's in a box and you're afraid to calibrate? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It looks like I have another gold star one here. Uh, this is also a steel door. Wait. This one's also for Gile. But it also has the... Uh, whatever. Goodbye. Wait. Oops. There we go. Um, 
Once you get one, you can 3D print more printers. There's a new Minecraft achievement, which is using the uh, auto crafter, the craft and auto crafters. It's kind of like that. You build them for fun these days. I mean, that's kind of cool. All right, how are we looking here, by the way? Uh, we are looking like we need to repair uh, one door and two lights. I'll use the goo. Let me get the goo. Fetch the goo. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I go to modifiers, peculiar. Looks like the zone has smiled upon you today. This part will last you only as long as it holds together. Just like they say, if you love it, take it out for a ride and then let it go. Sure. Okay, so I don't believe we have anything else going on here, right? Everything else is looking good. Bumpers are fine. Lightning rod got a little beat up, but that's okay. Do you have any gifts or any wisdom for us, oh friendly dumpster? some food. That's legit. Oh, wow. Another repair putty is good stuff, too. Oh, thank you. Alright, well, I guess this goes in the closet, then. As a dad that has been playing many games recently, I started playing this game and I can't put it down. It's a good game. It's a very good game. Here's a question. If the dumpster gets better stuff when you fail to return successfully, is it feeding off of your distress? Oh, it's like a sadness vampire. I see how it is. Now this game slaps. All right, turbo light engine. Uh, do we swap out our engine now? So it's got worse mile per gallon, but we have, look at that. That is a, what is that, 78, 68 increase in horsepower. It's like a 50% boosty. Let's give this a go. All right, now's the part where I get to show off just how swole I am. We're definitely a robot because I'm going to pull this engine out with my bare hands. I need... 42? Never mind. 42 thermosap. Bruh. All right. Let's get a liberator here. And the goal is we're going to find an armored car and we're going to liberate its pieces. All right. At least you checked before you took the engine out. Yeah. What's that engine block made out of? Ugh. Ugh. All right. Everything is fine. Uh, quick checklist before we leave. We've got tools. We've got food. We've got our side thing all packed up with stuff. We've got the liberator now in case we find an armored car. Uh, backup tank is full of gas. Backup, backup tank is full of gas. Cars, oh, I have this steel bumper, right. Clean up the shop real quick. All right, y'all. Uh, let's take one more look at the tech tree real quick.
What is this? Limpulse emitter. This is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electromagnetic entities to hold on or harm the vehicle. Oh, is this the anti-bunny tech? If I can put it on the roof, I'll be happy. Give the bun buns the boot. Costs us minus two kilowatts per activate. room for two here or no? All right. Let's try and get through that wall now, shall we? Okay, so I still have to go through the darkness. Ah, again? Oh, Abandoned Squire. Abandoned Squire is the police vehicle? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, we might be able to get an armored part here. I'm going to make a second Liberator. I just spent all of our goo, but it might be worth it. I wonder if they stack. They probably don't stack. Do they stack? They do not stack. I still don't. Still haven't found a use for the blowtorch yet. That's fine. Flare gun seems great. Uh, oh, I need a first aid kit and some food. Looking good. Close the hood. Okay, we still have the one unknown quirk. That's fine. All right, let's andiamo. Yes? Their little bobble head. Hey, their little bobble buddy. Did I fix the headlights turning? Yeah, before the last run. Did I set limp pulse to a key? Do I have to? Uh, did I get interrupted? Interesting. I'm there. I want to take the right route. All right. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for what looks like uh, police cruisers on the side of the road.
most barren game of punch buggy so far. Yeah, you'd think in the year of 1988 there'd be a couple more Volkswagen Beetles running around, you know? That is another of the good loot boxes. Another dumpster pearl. Let's go. Wet. We have to go through the spooky darkness zone again, friends, and um, hate that for me. All right, I'm not pulling over for another one. What do you think that is? entire game spooky darkness no sometimes it's beautiful pacific northwest stuff right this is just like it's like driving around on the island you know look around you this is what it's like to live in victoria are the tourists this bad oh you have no idea if you've worked in food service in a tourist town, you're like, wow, this is so relatable. All right, onward to the next zone. Oh, this game. Okay, still out in the scary, scary. Uh, we could stop here on the way, on the way to the uh, the exit area. Keep our eyes peeled for trucks. Keep our eyes peeled for any anomalies we haven't seen before. And for police cars. Oh! Oh! Buckets. Uh, they're electric tourists. Shocked tourist. Okay. Something new dropped. Oh, they dropped plasma. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that was fine. We're all having a good time. In my flare. How'd you end up all the way over here, buddy? Mm. 
Might I recommend you don your safety hoodies? You're off, Wester Farmer. Thanks for hanging out, friend. Oh, my poor car is okay. Can't help but notice I got a little bit of the old zappy zappy. It'll pass. It'll be fine. Wait. Uh, no, I'm not at the destination yet. Okay. How's the car? Oh, running great. Oh, you're my dad. <laughs> That's how he starts so many conversations. Hey, son. How's the car running? <laughs> anyone? Anyone else? That's like... Not how's the weather, how's the car running is like basic icebreaker for my dad. Is that more zappy tourists? Hate that. Man, as if tourists weren't bad enough. Now they're on fire, electric fire. Yikes. However long a trip you take, it's a reasonable question. I don't drive anywhere. It's like, uh, what have you been up to since the last time I saw you, son? Well, in the last 30 hours, I spent 25 of them in front of the computer. <laughs> like, what do you think? Yeet. What do you think that is? Was that my flare? <laughs> Was that my flare? I mean, that's another one of my flares way over there. Actually incredible. the wrong way. I want to take the next left here. I think I dodged it because there's more zappy friends out around there, you know? How you doing? Oh, man. Yeah, these new tourists are uh, no bueno. All right, there's more of them. Good. Car is doing fine. It's fine. Uh, it's actually a feature when your dashboard uh, has a little bit of extra zappity into it. Normally, you have to pay extra for that, but I get it free. I got a got a really good relationship with my mechanic, and they just installed that uh, shock dashboard just as a treat, you know? I'm almost dead. I'm dying. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. No, no, no. I'm not dead yet. 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 Hi, caffeine. I'm so sorry I screamed. I'm so sorry I screamed. 
I'm so sorry to ask you. Oh. <laughs> they moved so fast. I looked down for like one second and they were beside me. Oh, is that the first patrol car we've seen too, or no? It is. It's in terrible condition. All right, let's go deal with these ones first. Hi, Caffeine. Thank you for raiding. How was your stream? I thank you, appreciate you. This game is very spoopy. Sometimes, unless it's like just a vibe, there is no middle ground. It's either terrifying or just so chill. All right. I can get... Uh, that's a steel panel. Yes, an armored door. Yes, an armored panel. Okay. Hold that thought. Yo, I can't believe we didn't die there. I was at zero HP. And then I somehow managed to get into the back... And I took that, um, I took that first aid kit that we packed. Oh, thank you again for the raid, friend. All right. I want this armored panel. That's it? I get two uses? Well, that feels bad. All right. There's the armored panel. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. All right. Uh, that fits there. Does this also fit in or no? Is this gone? Uh, can it be stored on the roof rack? That's a good question. I have no idea. No. But we'll get more storage eventually. And then we'll probably be able to put some stuff up there. All right. So we managed to grab some new armored pieces. Look at this. Look at this. Right side of our car. It's so tough. You know what, actually? Did I bring the, uh, the goo with me? I did not. Okay. That's fine. Oh, my heart. You have no idea. All right. Uh, there is a big old storm coming in. So let's let's get out. Use six. I use three shots per panel. So this game has taught me that if I want to use something, I hold down left click until it disconnects. Um, so I don't understand how I would have used three per panel when I used it just like I've used every other tool in the game. I don't know. I'll take a look at the next one. But uh, it was very expensive and I upgraded two armored parts before I could otherwise do it, which is kind of cool. But 
Yeah, having only two uses feels bad. You're probably right, but I also don't understand how I could have got it wrong. I believe that is new. I want to take a picture of it. Please come back. I want to photograph you for science. The Crackling Crawler. We made a new friend. Oh, the whales are back. Oh. Please don't cross the road. Hi. Okay. In, in my defense, it looked like the electrical arc between the two things was gone. Okay. Okay, uh, that was only one scream this stream. That's good. That's good, right? We're learning. Um, oh my goodness, I'm only there and I need to get there? Oh no, now we're back in the super dark. Oh, we're back in the super dark, everybody. Boo. Okay, okay, okay. Hoodie's on, everybody. Hoodie's on. Uh, I could get another spooky broadcast on our way out. How are we doing for fuel? How are we doing for battery? I mean, we could do it. We could go... If we just follow the road, we kind of get there. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, it's so dark. Or, or we could just leave. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, they, they zappity further than I thought they zappitied. Buckets. I just want to leave. I just want to leave. Please stop that. Oh, I hit one. I hit a tourist for the first time. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps. I hate this. I hate this. Okay, we want to take a right here. We want to take a right. We want to go down. This is probably fine. This is probably fine. This is probably nothing. This is probably fine. This is probably fine. Oh. 
I need to stress Pete. I need to stress Pete. I'm going to go with stress Pete. Hold tight. Oh my goodness y'all how you doing oh the lightning things freak me out so much I don't know what it is about the tourists am I enjoying myself not right now <laughs> Uh, gonna be honest, not right this very second. This should have been an October game. Oh, thank goodness, the sun. Alright, what am I doing here? Uh, I'm trying to go through the wall. Nothing bad has ever happened in the sun. I mean, everything is less scary when the sun is out. That's just that's just a fact. There's a loot truck. That is so many tourists! So I'm pretty sure I saw some more of the good stuff, but I think it went flying super far away. I only got three flares left. Okay, I need to start being a little bit... I think I've got 20 in the car. Aha! Okay, got some more 
flares, good stuff. I think I get a little bit more food. Maybe I'll get some food out of the back of this truck. What's up, Zethian? Thank you so much for the eight months, friend. Hope you're having an amazing day. Crude door, a uh, bad impact hammer, some canned food. What's that? Oh, there's a little bit of gasoline right there. Oh my goodness, my poor heart. Do you have any idea what this game is doing to my heart rate right now? Just tanking it. Do the tourists do more than stand around? If you don't look at them, they sneak up on you. So every time you look away and you come back, they're just closer to you and I hate it. Weeping Angel rules. I've never watched... Crap. I've never watched a Doctor Who, so I don't know the Weeping Angel rules, but I'll take your word for it. Alright, we're going to stop here for a second. Maybe this box has some food. No, but it did have some lore. What's a spro dog? Fatty spro dog. You've never had a fatty spro dog before? Love it. It's slang for espresso. What's a spro dog with you? <laughs> so what is the range on this, right? A uh, hand up looking down. Hand up looking down. All right, we're going to be brave. We're going to be brave. Hand up looking down. Hand up looking down. That's as brave as I can be. I did I did my best. I did my best. I did my best. Why aren't I checking the cars on the road? Every car is lootable. They don't tend to have a ton of uh, junk in their trunk. So what I tend to do is uh, different cars have different rarities of loot table on them. Uh, they go from scrappy to steel to armored. And I basically have made the decision in the game uh, that if it's not at least armored, it's probably not worth stopping for unless there's something else that's there as well. If that makes sense. I got yeeted. Biggest yeetus.
It's interesting. I want to be close to the orb so that I can get rid of it faster to make the anomalies go away. But I don't want to be too close to the orb because then the anomaly might bully my car. Uh, drive through the wall. Drive through the wall. There we go. I haven't driven through water before. I don't know what that's doing. All right, everybody. Uh, big moment here. Big moment here as we go through the wall. this game what is this game can I get up there Check for safety first. Can they kill us? I imagine. You see how they explode when they hit the uh, the flares? I imagine they also explode if they hit us. Just an assumption. I cannot imagine anything good happens if they touch us. Files are inside the computer as a Zoolander joke, kits. That wasn't a spoiler, but thank you. Like, look at this place. Are you proud of me for exploring, chat? How many flares do I have left? Three? That's enough exploring back to the car. I am so brave. It's true, though. I'm stuck on the geography.
There is an embarrassing lack of fuel in these barrels, though. Like, look at this. That fuel barrel is half full. It's like a 40 liter drum. And I got nothing out of that. I got like half of whatever this is. No, 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 no. Watch out, Surge. Scav in this section of the supermarket. It's fair. As long as it's not a scav boss, I can take a scav. It's not even that there's better sources of fuel. It's just that it... My immersion! Looks like it should have more in it, right? Oh my goodness. Which way do we want to go here? This way? This way towards the exit? That is so many mans. Do I have more flares on me? I do. Oh my goodness, I do. Thank you, Pass Surge. Let that be a lesson to you. Oh no, there's more of them. Can I grab that flare back or is it gone? It's gone forever. There's another one right there. I heard another one explode, but I didn't see it, and that's even more terrifying. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. Oh, goo. Goo is good. Uh, I got some things that could really use a little splash of goo right about now. Is goo some kind of car cure-all? Correct. So this one was really beat up. This one was super beat up. What else are we looking here? Can't repair the bumper. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, battery still at half. Gas tank is topped up. All right, let's go. 
Checking the map, there's an exit there. Um, lies? Oh. L-I-M lies. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> I kind of liked, um, lies. <laughs> Okay, there's more of them, and they're right there. Time to be so brave again, everybody. Do 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 do. Flares everywhere. Look. It's very dark otherwise. It's important that you put flares everywhere, okay? How else are you going to find your way out of here? Apparently, I cannot go under that. That is a physical object. Oh, the uh, flare dying scared me. Take that instead. I'm out. 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 Oh, I hate this so much. God, I'm so brave. It's a big wall. It's a very big wall. We're still inside until now. told me to hang tight, and so I did. Can I not clear that? Okay, let's go there. What does this E mean? Oh, E means east. <laughs> ah, you mean the compass direction, Surge.
A little disappointed by the giant gaping hole that lets people and things drive right through it, but you live with what you have to live with? Look, this whole wall was, look, one little hole. At a certain point, you need to accept that, um, oh, at some point, you need to accept a certain level of imperfection. How many nines are you willing to live with, Hosk? Because I feel like this is a five nines kind of wall. to our side of the wall. Oh, what's this? Your connection to Wapi is jammed? Ah, uh, worry not. Our signal is crystal clear. A little bit obvious, don't you think? Right, ask me if I care. Yeah, the mid zone's been marinating in all this radiation for so long. Things don't work the same as they do in the outer zone. But the good news is, we live here. We can help you, no sweat. Welcome back to everybody. First things first, we've got to extend the signal from the garage. Otherwise, Oppie's equipment won't be much help. Hooking <laughs> you into a mid-zone stabilizer should do the trick. Look around. You should be able to see one up a hill somewhere. Can't believe we haven't gotten back to a place where we can stop and save yet. That's kind of wild to me. Also, yeah, look at this zone. Uh, all the green is a little bit more brown or red. Those are interesting colors. Very interesting colors. Those trees look fine. Those perfectly good, healthy looking trees. Yep. Yep. I don't want to guess, go investigate what those orbs are. Introducing the cough box. And such great hits as... Orb! Oh, giant orb. Okay. Marsh egg. Salamander grotto. Did my pickaxe break? Sure did. We got another one of those. Pickaxe, I'm sorry, crowbar. Do they have to drive through the marsh to get up there? Or do you think I could follow the road? I'm sure those are fine to touch with our bare hands. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, no problemos whatsoever. All right. We got our pickaxe back. Uh, I have no food. I have no food. So if I just follow the road, it gets there. It's slower, or we could off-road. Uh, I'm gonna just follow the road. Roads never led me astray before. You know why people have roads? To get to places. Taps forehead. Therefore, if you follow a road, you'll eventually end up somewhere. Do all roads still lead to Rome? Does that count once we got off that continent? I kind of feel like things changed there a little, you know?
I guess if there's a room on every single landmass, eventually everything leads to room. That's fair. Is there a room on every continent? Next question. Hold on. Uh, let's just drop a little marker on this map here. We're going to be passing by a little anomaly. So let's grab it. We built multiple rooms in, the, in America. I mean, that's very America. Europe's got one room. Let's build three Kekona. <laughs> My, that's my American voice, by the way. What do you think? Do I sound American? Hey, look, that orb is red. Anchor plug. My orb. Um, where did it go? Uh, hello? Excuse me? My orb! Oh, it's right here. Morb! <laughs> Forge, forget to put the car in drive before hitting the gas 20 times. Wow. Thanks, game. Do you see that Shiva I just unlocked? That's so rude. <laughs> uh, that looks like another armored vehicle. All right, so you're telling me that if I'm careful... I can use this for one tap to get one part, eh? That's what it is. I understand. You hit it once and it falls off. Ooh, that's an off-road tire. That's a steel panel. Crap. Oh, I broke it. Whatever. Still better than what I currently have. Am I dying? That's a perfectly fine... There we go. Forty-four. Tell me if that number is going down. I'm not really paying attention. We got a spare tire now. We got a spare tire for the boot. I'll just keep it on me.
Section D is online. Coming through loud and clear. Hey, Francis, pan the car's broadcast frequency to the stabilizer, would you? Hey, come on, I can't do this without you. Fine. There. Your receiver's hooked in now. And we're patched into all that sweet ARC device data. <laughs> nice work. Obvi won't be able to block us out anymore. Well, better get going. Here it comes. Uh, beg your pardon? You could have given me a heads up? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Follow the road. Follow the road. Follow the road. I got time to follow the road, right? Must have time to follow the road. I'm not taking this off road. My car is in pieces. My life is in shambles. I haven't saved in 10,000 years. I'm glad I made that first aid kit. Just follow the road and eventually I get close enough I can branch off and get there. Uh, where'd my road go? Hello? Giant pipe in the middle of my road? Extremely rude. Hi, tourists. Don't mind me. Okay, we're taking this bad boy off-road. Yikes. Car doesn't love the water. That's fair. Cars typically don't. <laughs> oh, and to the safety of the giant beam of fire. Home sweet pillar of fire. Hello. Teleporter? We could have been beaming all over the zone this whole time? Uh, don't worry. I'll restore her connection once you do us a little favor. We suspect Oppie's hiding a copy of Otis' database in that auto shop of hers. Find it, and we can get oh. this remnant business. Hi. That was wild. I got so lucky on my first visit to the zone. I mean, how so? I almost died only like 17 times. Circuit for the garage's security system. And there's an auto security lock in that circuit. So once I do this, yeah, bingo! That security lock's powered on now. We'll try that overload code from the observation towers. Four seven three five. Same code. Driver, something you should know about that database? When Arda's funding began to dry up, they handed us our final paycheck with one hand and the same day evacuation orders with the other. Oppie was a higher up, though more entitled than an actual power by that time. She would have known about Arda's plan to close up shop and had enough time to download all the research data before losing access. That data could contain what we need to help you. Ready for a little bit of lore, everybody? Get that lore. It's a bathroom. 
The lore was in the toilet. intruding like this. Can you not? Hold the phone. There's a machine that prints bobbleheads? What? <gasps> Show me. All that COVID training of washing my hands trained me for this moment. Alright, hold on. That's that's the out tube. Probably want it in the in tube. This enhanced version of the ARC device is able to administer rudimentary pain relief and first aid to the occupants of the driver's seat. However, the energy this requires will put a substantial drain on the battery. You still remain unsure if this device is a work of genius, extremely legal technology, or some combination of both. Send the drive. Oh. Sorry, driver. Whoa, you did it. Hey, you actually did it. Oh, oh, boy, Audi, I cannot wait to dig through all this data. Oh, get my hand. Oh, outbound, inbound. That's a mail document. I understand. Do you read me? Come in. Do you read me? Loud and clear, you old bat. I see. The comms clear up suddenly, and I find you two patched into the garage frequency. <laughs> it all makes sense now. No idea what you're talking about. So, Oppie, what's the, uh, what's the plan? You must have some grand scheme, don't you? Let me get this straight. You hijacked my mission, tapped into my frequency, and now you want to be all buddy-buddy. Not on your life. You think you're hot stuff. Why don't you take the lead, then? Get the driver through all by your damn selves. Did she just hang up on us? Well, guess it's our time to shine. <laughs> so, uh, Francis, you got any ideas? We know the driver needs to get to the deep zone, but it's too dangerous to head there directly. We have to zero in on exactly where to go. The signal amplification trick won't work here. The ambient instability is too strong in the mid zone. Huh, how indeed. Um, there was one other time where the mass hallucination and the remnants intersected. Driver, I've tagged a route for you. Whenever you're ready, give it a spin. Hmm. Look at that, 1.1 instabil instabilium, whatever you call it. All right. We got a lot of loot to move around. We were on the road for a very long time there. What are we getting now? Electronics, a little bit of steel. Good stuff. Good stuff. Put that all aside. Uh, Slightly better. Even better. There we go. Made some room. We got a little bit of lore. A little bit of a lore dump. So we need to go through. We have so much lore to catch up on that we haven't even touched. Uh, the next thing we need to do is... Oh my god, our poor car. <laughs> I 
All right, Dumpster, you got anything for me? Hey, what's up, Superman? Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How's your stream? What'd you get up to? <gasps> Wait a minute. Is it all armored parts now? Yo, let's go. Big. Big. Playing some Bioshock Infinite. Delightful. All right. Yeah. Your car is looking very well kitted. Thank you. Oh, right. Uh, put that back on. Uh, it's an armored door. Uh, this is not an armored door. All right, anything else I could have pulled off of this one? Summer tire, a little bit of gasoline, steel panel, and the summer tire. We'll get there. We'll slowly get there. I wonder if I can actually unlock um, iron armor tech now. What that costs, if so. Armored panel. Uh, scan a belching barnacle anomaly. All right, I'm not there yet. What about, what about other stuff? The car is getting there. The car is getting a little kitted. It's also kind of stressing me out a bit. Um, now, what is this? Trunk on trunk. To add insult to injury, 250 years after winning their independence, Americans nationwide are enjoying bigger trunks than ever. The trunk of one American car can fit six British vehicles. Wow. That's a big trunk. XL roof storage. I would require the advanced workbench first. So let me see if I can get that. No, I need three points of unstable lilium. What am I gonna do with all that junk inside my trunk? I don't know. Something about love junk. Day drunk. I'm gonna try a trunk in the trunk and see what happens here. Oh, it's literally a trunk in the trunk. I'm so proud, man, this game. And it's all one big space now. Incredible. Can you believe it? I can't. I, for one. No more weird spaces in the trunk. I kind of miss them. I was, I was really growing attached to all those pockets and everything. I just need you to know that. All right. I think... It's time. Ah, I'm not quite emotionally ready yet, though. Hold on. Might be time to ditch the steel. All right. First things first. First, uh, I need one, two, three. Ceiling kits. Steel is so last map. Fair. Wait, could, am I also wasting this? Should I just do... No, I have to use the whole thing. I didn't think windshield was apart. Oh, my windshield's apart. No kidding. You must have really... Oh my goodness. We were so close to dead, Superman. It's wild. Yeah, everything was breaking. I mean, the other thing that happened, though, uh, to give me some credit, is we did, with a Liberator, start pulling some parts off of, off of other cars. So we grabbed a bunch of, like, broken armor.
All right, need that putty. I've got a bunch in the closet. Actually, hold on a second here. Oh no. Need a ceiling kit for that tire as well. Okay. You don't know anything about cars? All you need is a little bit of magic putty and all your car trubs will go away. It slices, it dices. All right, that's looking better. I need another ceiling kit. I don't think they have Bondo in Canada. As far as I'm concerned, Americans have just made up something. Wait, is Bondo to Americans what duct tape is to Canadians? What is that? What is what is that? What does what does that mean? Why is that yellow? Uh 50. I want you to pump the brakes just a little. Just a little. Please and thank you. Give me like half a second <laughs> on ever anything. All right, how are we looking here? We looking better? Uh, we can't repair the bumper because it's got the special status peculiar. Cannot be fixed. All right. Let's go here. Let's go here. Neat. All right. So the car is fully repaired. Uh, and I've got a bunch of stuff in here that's been cooking. So I've got spare doors. I've got spare bumpers. Uh, what have I got? I've got two doors and two panels. Now, I think what that means is I can take all of this now and just slice and dice it. So, door. 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 Panel. Panel. That's it, huh? We're down to two panels and one door. And that front bumper. Uh, side storage is fine. Neat. Seems sturdy enough. It's It's getting there. Looking good. It's our noble steed. I think it's looking beautiful. I'm kind of tempted to hit it with the shark, but 
I want to do that after everything becomes armored. And I'm going to be honest, I don't love the look of the armored panels right now. I do like how I somehow wound up with all of the yellow on one side and all of the not yellow on another side. Like, that's just a happy little coincidence. <laughs> uh, that wasn't calculated, but it does match in a very interesting way. Yeah, we, yeah, the uh, stuff is whatever. All right, let's read some lore. Let's read some lore. Wait, it's all in here, isn't it? All right, let's go to... Oh. Anomaly Encounters. So, I was deep in the zone, taking notes. I screwed up a page and threw it aside. That was when it first happened. Something I couldn't see, but I swear was there. Ate the paper that I dropped. Oh, you brought me goo. Thank you, sweetie. Oh. Later, I would hear it rummaging in the dumpsters. It's all those old journals we tossed as part of the move. Those drew it out. They would eat cardboard, too. I heard you could get it to follow you by dropping scraps as you walked. You'd never see a thing, though. It was like a ghost, but you sure could hear it. Anomaly Studies. A R D A cat ref four dot one one. These long, thin, ice like anomalies were found in clusters on trees and overhangs throughout the early 70s. Responsible for the majority of anomaly related entries at that time, they would cause serious contact burns and were easily dislodged by wind or movement. They were present during all types of weather and, if disturbed or manipulated, would quickly dissolve away into nothingness. None have been reported since 1975. ARDA CAT DOT REF DOT 4.85 Waist height and one of the few apparently benign anomalies reported, these were frequently found hiding in warm, dry places during cold or wet weather. This included under vehicles and by heating vents. Bulbous and resembling puffball mushrooms, they would squirt dark liquid when disturbed and roll away rapidly. Rarely sighted after 1976, but occasionally still reported. Theories. Listen, between you and me, ARDA is actually a cover-up. Look at that acronym. ARDA backwards is ADRA. That stands for the American Diamond Replication Association. Where have we heard that before? Mentioned in the 1949 Taylor broadcast before it was suddenly cut off by bad weather when government assassins finally caught up with him and bumped him off for revealing the truth. America has been using Olympic Exclusion Zone as a secret facility to manufacture diamonds. Gold, too. <laughs> they use gold as a secure basis for the dollar, while diamonds are both insanely valuable and yet also easy to transport, even smuggle. It's obvious, man. I don't have to explain myself further. Do your research. Okay, good. I figured it out. Remember when President Koch visited the zone and he said it was good to be back again and people thought it was a reference to him being a Washington senator? It wasn't. They used the word anomaly to describe strange sightings and smells, right? I think the president's one too. He's like the king of anomalies. <laughs> the reason they hired so many scientists and engineers to work there is to manage all the anomalies for him. Another thing, when the president went in, he didn't actually come out again. It's a body double. Someone they gave plastic surgery to look like him. You can tell from the curvature of the ears. <laughs> also, if you look at pictures of Coach from a few years before, he doesn't have gray hair. But now he does? How can you explain that? All right, lab report. This is the real deal. This is how we truly make money from limb technology. Forget the physics. Forget the engineer. It's the chemistry. Oh, they made a meth lab. <laughs> uh, what we got here is the secret to a host of new, more efficient catalysts. See, petroleum refining is dependent on a variety of catalysts, right? But 
There are a boatload of applications in everything, from pharmaceuticals to biocatalysts. They are the secret ingredient in so many modern industrial processes, and we have the key to lowering their activation energy to ludic ludicrously low levels. Imagine how much chemical and petroleum companies would pay for this. And if the ARDA won't sell, then we should really wait. We shouldn't talk about this here. Okay. Delightful. There you go. There, there's all our lore. All right. I think that's going to do it for today, friends. We got to the new zone. We did some lore. We've upgraded our noble steed. By the way, that's the name of our car. It's not a title. It could be both. It could be noble steed, the noble steed, you know? We got, uh, yeah, this is fun. And then once we upgrade all of the armor, maybe we'll get our color paint job. But as it stands, oh, wait, actually, hold up, hold up. We do have some new things we could check out here. Um, mm, definitely the pine cone. Nope. The potato cup. So hold on. Is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Our stick shifter is a rose now. They say it's a potato cup, but I know it's a flower. Dang, that's so cool. You know what the only thing I'd replace the air freshener with is dice. If we got dice, I'd, I'd switch that out. <laughs> okay, we don't need the knockoff. Uh, the raspberry is still the raspberry, and we still have our sticker collection. But you know what? I'm pretty happy with, uh, pretty happy with the ones that we have. You got a pair of D20s as well. Sick. All right, everybody. This game is terrifying. Am I having fun? I don't know. The game's good. But man, that stressed me out so much. I don't... I have no tolerance for spoops. Oh, I just woke up and I sort of saw, saw, saw Surge online. Sorry about that, friend. Welcome. Oh... Oh, I'm so brave though. I think that's the one thing that we need to remember. That's our main takeaway. Hey, thanks for hanging out. This has been an absolute blast. Thank you everybody for the support and the bits and the subs and the raids. I really do appreciate you all. I couldn't do any of this without you. Uh, tomorrow, I'm taking the day off. I got Saturday and Sunday as uh, two of our last days getting into here. And then Monday is the last day before um, we move. Final, like, three streams, and then uh, and then I'm going to be in Victoria again. So look forward to all of that. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the good vibes. Thank you for the support. Uh, thank you for being your usual lovely selves. We're going to go raid my boss. Enjoy. I'll see you soon. Ciao.